Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to today's edition of the Cloister of the Dice. It's been a couple of weeks because we had some things happening, but we are back here once again. Of course, I'm your MC behind the scenes. I'm John. Of course, we've got our DM, Mel, to the Monk, and our players, Akira Coops, Lady K, Nevinor Fall, Sick Rick, and of course, Santa Tricks and All right, folks, how are we doing today? We are good doing good. We are doing good. I miss Robin Williams. Don't we drink a do. lot of mead. What did we learn, Coops? I know. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. For those wondering, Coops is nursing a hangover right now. Don't worry, I'll be able to hold him off a little bit at the end of May. A little bit. Because, yeah, I was going to say, keyword a little bit. Hey, again, he'll be tempered enough because he'll probably be waifu shopping throughout the whole entire weekend. <laughs> I think you're going to have to be more worried about holding a leash on him to keep him away. Don't worry, I've already talked with a couple of vendors that he's in usual contact with to put a cap on how much he can spend the whole weekend. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing else I already posted in the Stream Atlanta channel. Yes, Coops, I'm going that far! Like, that's gonna fucking stop me. I'm trying, okay? Jesus! Rails. There. Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity? <laughs> <laughs> You're not South American enough for that. No. No, but I can play one on TV. <laughs> and I can, I can take, I know an. I know way too many South American game devs, I can probably take some pointers. But, yes, we, after our brief endeavor with Cloudbreaker, which is now out in the wild and purchasable, I did put the itch link on, on my Discord. And, contrary to popular belief, there are not 256 total levels that player characters are going to have. You know, you know who you are, who made that mistake. But it just, but it just means that more people will get a shot at seeing what that game, ha what that game has in store. And I get the feeling it won't be the last time that it will make its appearance here. Call it a, call it a hunch. Am I saying that that a future campaign will be it? It won't be the next one because after because after this we're going to be we're going to be skewing to a little bit outside of fantasy. But that's that's only because I don't want this to be a one trick pony kind of affair. You know, there's some you know, we've seen some actual play streamers who all they do is co is cover um is cover fantasy and the same kind of fantasy every damn time to boot. Mm -hmm. I don't want the clo I don't want the cloister to be that. I I did that one trick pony thing for a few years with Monastery Live, and we saw how that ended. Only the only good things I remember from that Kickstarter segment and the ever the ever eventful adventures. A Florida man. Don't make, Don't make me say it. For old time's sake, John! Do it! Nah. Do it now! No. And his ever rotating lineup of sidekicks. Thank you, Mon. Thank you, Mon. I am, ve I am vetoing that. The, the, veto's the veto is appreciated. I don't feel like, raging, feel like raging right now. Mm-hmm. Because this is supposed to be about fun and shit posting. Exactly. Now, a uh, little bit of housekeeping. Monk, would you like to tell them uh, what we decided on recently? Yeah. The obviously, as as you all can see, we have a much different um, set, a much different setup with the fit with the layout. Um, because we we had been doing the 
the um, original layout for some months, and that it it, it already the time the time had already come to do th to do things a bit different with the layout looking forward, which is why you have a brand new setup. And I suppose the Cloudbreaker experience was the test run for that kind of thing. A little bit. But for the for the for the other part of the housekeeping, I will I will let you explain that. Eh? <laughs> but, but 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 I I don't know what to he did say. Did it to me? He'll do it to you. Shit. So we'll pass uh. Pass the buck. Yeah. Um. As you can see, we uh. Monk and I, being the co-producers for Cloyster decided we were going to uh, update everything, so we started with a background image that we wanted to use. And let me just go ahead and bring all this down and out for a minute. And we wanted to go with something that uh, looked like it could belong in the cloister. And both of us really liked this one for the background image. Uh, the assets we found are a slight Art Nouveau style, but I'm actually rather fond of it, and the the brown and gold work really well with the background image. And yes, I can yes I can integrate this into the lore of the temple and and simply say that it's bigger on the inside. Considering Although, the temple is on the side of an entire mountainside, monk. It doesn't have to be bigger on the inside, but that's still good lore. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks to all the, novels, all the novels I've been reading, we can easily see space, uh, space, uh, space uh, spatial magic. Pretty, pretty much. The... The or other... Some, the, or some barren gift. <laughs> and... Yes, of it. Eventually, once I fit, once I find the right uh, once I find the right artist, one of these days I will set set up a lore, set up a lore comic. I'll f I'll eventually I'll eventually I'll eventually have that nailed down. But there is one bit of um of eleventh hour housekeep uh, housekeeping that I do have to bring up. Regarding that, regarding this game in particular, not regarding this campaign, but regarding Sword World, there was a tr there. There are two potential modules that might get that might get um, trans that might get translated. Well, bo both of them are getting translated. It's just which one is going to happen first. One of them is Vice City, which we taught, which we kind of covered briefly when we talked about the the history of Sword World during Sword World Study Hall. That was the campaign that was meant to be kind of a easing in from 2.0 to 2.5. I know that some um, that the that the oh, journey to the continent of Al of Alfheim also did that, but this was a bit more extensive. Especially since it was that build a city kind of thing and Kind of a kind of a sequel to Myth to Mist Castle. The other one is um, a is a scenario setup that's a successor to Pro Celsia, a secret history called Griffin Road, which um, looking at the looking at the cover for it, all I hear is country roads. <laughs> oh no, no, God! And Take me home to the place. Before the mug beats me upside the head again. Too late. <laughs> I'll see you. I'll see you at a con one of these days eventually. Full Nelsons Eventually. are fun. <laughs> I'm sorry, you said that with the country music lover here. What do you expect? But if you guys look in the vo in the voice chat, you should be able to see it. I would not define Take Me Home Country Roads as country. I would actually define it closer to bluegrass. Bluegrass has strong roots in country. No, Blue country has strong country. roots in bluegrass. Fair enough. Yeah. Six and a half, one dozen in the They're other. They're related, damn it! 
Yeah, they're, they're they're related. One one was the root for the other. Yep. Griffin Road. Mm-hmm. No, do you do you know what I what I hear, Monk? The bonanza theme. Let me. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even trying. Uh... Every day for about for about a year when i would get when i would get home and instead instead of before before the before the after school shows would would come on there were there were reruns of two shows that i'd end up seeing that i was way too young that I was way too young to know about and everybody keeps telling me i'm way too young to know about one of them is bonanza the other one is gunsmoke uh, i I had a, I had the choice of either. I chose Bonanza because I figured it would be more it, it, that 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 cover looks more like settlers than what Gunsmoke would imply. So Bonanza was the choice. I'm trying to remember what it was, but there was a PBS program that had three modern families try acting as if they were settlers in the Wild West. This is entirely what I'm viewing from that. Regardless, <laughs> getting back getting back to the heart of the matter, it, I this I decided to implement the fa the passage of time, given that we were gone from Sword World for about a week, and the main way that that was handled is the is the fact that in that intervening time. That interviewing time about three weeks have passed, and you all and you all ended up want, wanting to seek out new challenges. So you left the Burlight region and chose to head north, especially since you had heard rumors about a very big demon problem in the far north of uh, of Alfheim. So the last time you guys were in the Burlight region, which was which is where Grunzale is, you ended up taking. And remember, you had that ticket from the from the start of this campaign. Yep. We've got yep. a ticket to ride. We didn't go by train. No, but you get you guys ended up taking a ship north, heading out from port and heading up heading up north. All the way to the Dorden region. Yep. And let me move you guys over here so you guys can see that. And that trip took you about two weeks. And if that seems fast, keep in mind it only took a month to cross continents. So yeah. as you can see, let me zo let me um, zoom to fit here. This is the Dorden region. Now, up until this point, you some of you may have had the assumption that this was going to have a vibe similar to a lot of high fantasy settings. In the Dorden region, not so much because of one thing that mo that most of your forgotten realms or si or similar um similar high fantasy slop are not going to have trains. God damn it, John. <laughs> one of the one of the big part one of the big parts of this region is the train network. And spoiler warning, this is not going to be the last time that trains make a significant appearance. I mean, it's called aboard the Magic Railroad for a reason. Mm -hmm. Not to mention the fact that we have talked repeatedly regarding Strasford, God of Railroads. That is also true. Now, specifically, the, er the area that's going to be the focus is the Kingsley Republic of Iron and Steel and its capital, Kingsfall, which is known as the City of Railroads. Away. We can see why it's called the City of Railroads as well. Mm -hmm. So where's her top of hat? 
No. So what you're saying is we're running a train on this place? Get out! Neff is, out. Hey, Neff, hey, Neff, no. Neff, Neff, Neff is funnier. Neff is funnier because we all know what he meant. Yeah. But, yeah. John, I, I yeah. think you have to Dave uh, Rick here. I will take it with my head held high. I haven't pulled this out in a while, and I'm pretty sure somebody will agree with me on this. Dave! Dave! You definitely deserve that. Also, well, a good friend, to quote a good friend of most of the people here. Thank you, sir. May I have another? Gladly. Gladly. Neff, I'd like to ask why your avatar on Roll20 suddenly turned into Alicia instead of Isabeau. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Speaking of which, That's I a good question. I'm not sure. I think I clicked on the wrong thing. Uh, the good question. The answer is yes. Well, the thing is, we don't have an Alicia right now. She's, uh... I'm working on it. No, here's the thing. It's simple. Neff has a thing for bunnies. Especially considering what's tomorrow. Only when they're chocolate. You can keep that shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine, Monk. Uh oh uh, gents, I need you to filibuster for a minute. I am, uh, I have to make an emergency run to the restroom. Alright, I can... If there's one thing I can do, it's talk. <laughs> yeah, that's you and me both, Monk. That's you and me both. <laughs> Pass and John. Scoops. Pass the scoops, the, enough, the inevitable pillows and bed sheets. Get, get cozy, guys. We're about to go to sleep. Uh, yeah, between the three of us, and then... <laughs> yeah, between the three of us, yeah, we, we could talk our heads off for hours on end. Yeah. Hell, you should hear us at the AEW calls every week. Holy crap, me and Mace could go back and forth for hours. Mm -hmm. How many times and... you guys got smacked <laughs> yeah, by Maddie bro. saying, Stop talking during the wrestling! Not as often as you think, but it has happened. It usually, ha it usually happens for piss break matches. Or ra rather, that's when the talking get that's when the talking escalates. Yeah. I don't blame you on those. Though, what would qualify as a piss break match isn't as strong as what we would see in the Fed. Well, that's because there's actually good matches in AEW. Yes. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it'd be more accurate to say, to say instead of piss break, um, cool down matches. Yeah. Oh, yes. The Maybe. obvious jobber matches. You know, not not the squashes because those are too fucking short. <laughs> but like I think the ones that's where like, you honestly know where it's going. Like, I'm gonna say this: the job matches, at the very least, they're quick in AEW. Unlike a, unlike the Fed. Well, and but and the, while they might be jobber matches, they're also still entertaining, even if they are jobber matches. Mm -hmm. And hell, sometimes they're full of surprises. I mean, come on. They, they burnt the new star in, in Action Andretti in a jobber match. Mm -hmm. Or at least what looked like a jobber match. Oh, yeah. and, uh, uh, the Alabama... The Alabama uh, Mexican wrestler. The Alabama luchador. I'm pretty, much, pretty sure he got his start as jobber. And look at the star he became for a while. You know, looking at this map of King's Fall, can I just say that I'm already tickled pink that there is a casino named the Honey Badger? Yeah. <laughs> well, well, it don't care what you think about it. Like that. Honey Badger don't give no fucks. <laughs> uh, I'm looking at this. Okay, so are we going to have to... <laughs> Shades, are you... Shades, is I have to ask, is Azrael going to have to chaperone his hubby, I mean his significant other, to the gambling area? Huh? Uh. <laughs> I think he's trying to make a joke, but it kind of fell flat, didn't it? Yeah. It especially did. consider, especially considering. I know what he's trying to imply, but remember that Arya doesn't go to casinos.
didn't in uh, Granzale won't now. There's a challenge know. there. I don't even know if there was any in Granzale. There was. Uh, okay. Yeah, ding, ding. neither of us have uh, come off as the gambling type. I like adventure. Gambling is not adventure. It's just it's just bad it's just bad risk with little reward. Yep. And Arya is all about challenge. So that is chance, not challenge. And it's not even chance, it's rigged. All yeah, casinos exactly. are rigged because the house always wins. Yeah. Though when I when I because of how circular the design of King's Fall is, I can't be the only one who's who's looking at this and, and thinking of that shot of Midgard. Yeah, I can. I can see that, but I'm also I'm looking at the walls, the fact we have this train, we have the trains here, and uh, I'm trying. I don't remember the name exactly, but the zombie parody of Attack on Titan. Oh, Cabinary of the Iron Fortress. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm... it's not a parody. Cabinary of the Iron Fortress is great. Yeah, it's a, it, it, it's definitely there's definitely a similarity between the two. I won't deny that, but it's not the same, and it's definitely not a parody. It's it's its own thing. Yep. No, I knew what you were I, talking about. Yeah, and I'm I back. I take I take a look at this, and what I see, and uh, this is going to be a deep cut for everyone. Uh, we've got Magitech, we've got trains, we've got a circular uh, formation around a city. This is a mistress, everybody. Yes. Yes. Oh, fuck, we're all doomed. No, I know Alkahestry. We'll be good. <laughs> and we te we technically have an alchemist in the party. <laughs> uh, all right, so where are the homunculi, then? Um, all, all of the homunculi are all of Azrael's, uh, <laughs> Azrael's <laughs> constructs. <laughs> Should we go find? Should we go find a butcher for him and a and a guard who loves ripping off his shirt to flex together? Yeah, but here's the thing: if uh, all of a sudden we hear Alicia saying, "Brother, I'm going to shoot somebody," <laughs> no, 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 wrong animal. Also, if there's any, if there's anyone who is the who's the prime suspect for ripping their shirt off, it's Garu. Yeah. yeah. Yes, but yeah. The, the thing here, the thing here is that we have Garu for two roles, Monk, ripping his shirt off and flexing, and then in beast mode, that's when someone can say brother. Oh God! No! Oh, God, no. Also, in regards also, to the Monkai, also in regards to the Monkai, also in regards to the Monkai, you guys realize, you guys realize I, 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 I now have a new gum golem, golem someone I could call call upon. Call upon. I probably won't be, using, probably won't be but using, but I could. The flabby the golem, which is a flesh golem. I oh god, you have gluttony. <laughs> <laughs> I should make gluttony. I won't. I won't. Like... But I could. Mm -hmm. uh, your bone puppet is lost. Of course, but I even then, here's the lust. Of course, you would. But even then, with Gar, let's face it, he would rather be in the court. He'd rather be off to his side watching the chaos eating popcorn. Yeah. But Rails. Rails. despite how, despite the pros the current prosperity of King's Fall. And and just and just the and its sur and its surrounding kingdom. Um, things that it had much like a lot of much like a lot of the a lot of a lot of Sword World Raxia. It is in a st it is in a state of rebuilding, trying to recover trying to cover as much lost tech from the Diabolic Triumph as it could. Especially since the bi the big thing for it was restoring the Grand Terminal Station, but there's a lot of infrastructure from the Magitech Civilization era that's become black boxes and can't be rebuilt. Hell, just just restoring the trains took several decades, and for it to establish itself as a state took a century. It's King Kingslay Kingslay the the cunt the country has been trying to restore itself since the Magitech of what it was during the Magitech civilization period. How and while it's still a far cry from that, it has regained a lot of its um a lot of its status as a very large um economic powerhouse. 
And for the, for the record, this right here is the Grand Terminal Station that they had to restore, which feels feels like a halfway feels like a halfway point between a between a train station and a cathedral. It's also the biggest building in the whole city. But you can see that there that there's quite a few quite a few places. Oh. Now where our where our story leads us, since you get since you guys have done your fair share of adventuring within within this er the area, is the is the institute right up here, the Ungarten Archaeological Institute, sometimes called the Archaeological Complex and sometimes simply called the Institute. Oh, within the, with the the special place for this is that it. It is technically a magic um, academy, but underneath it are ruins upon ruins upon ruins. You know, just li just layers of it. Not necessarily sword labyrinths like there were in Granzale, but just ancient Magitech ruins. And within some of them have been, some of them have been explored for the longest time, while others have not. And among them is a large door that's made of manatite steel that was found. It was called the Forever Closed Great Door because no matter what anyone did, they couldn't open it. And yes, Naf, that includes knocker bombs. They didn't work. Dang it! <laughs> However, a few days ago, it was discovered that the door was now open. They, this was reported to the Adventurers Guild. If they would have explored it themselves, but they were not in con a condition to do so, since they had already done their own exploration and were exhausted. Therefore, the task of exploring the forever closed Great Door was left to a bunch of relative newbies, i.e., you guys. They probably consider us cannon fodder in case anything dangerous is down there. Well, I wouldn't doubt that for a second, to be honest. Do it look like we have anything that says expendable on us? Gar instantly starts looking all over his body to see if there's any sign of some sort that says that. Yeah, it's called our adventurer cards. Remember, as far as far as the Adventurers Guild is concerned, you guys are still rapiers. We don't have a big enough name. That's all this is. With rapiers this, we are could the have a much. Oh, sorry. Rapiers are the second lowest adventurer rank. We, we just don't have a big enough name. We need to find and do more things. The greater we are, the bigger responsibilities will be given. However, this could be a grand opportunity to boost ourselves highly. Imagine if we find something down there of value. Anything we get, we find, we keep, right? If we boost our strength, they'll definitely be more interested in what we bring back. Indeed. They'll be interested. Garu instantly snorts and, and speaks as if he had experience with this. They'll be interested and then take all the glory and not name us. Oh, of course! Oh, of course. That's do. what they do. They don't care, they don't care about, about the grand all the grand adventure. They just want all the rewards so they can make themselves fatter and richer. Bunch of cowards. Well, it's a good thing the Adventurer's Guild accounts for all of that. It's not them that will raise us, it's the Guild. And what we get from all of this, whether sword shards or other glories, well, that makes us all that much greater. Indeed, Indeed. I, look I look forward to seeing what we find here. down here. So, so are, we are we all prepared? Alicia struggles to take a step forward. Can one of you guys take this fucking tent? <laughs> okay, 
Okay, okay. I know I, I, know I didn't do this. Who thought it was a good idea to leave the heavy objects to her? You guys made me do all the fucking shopping. Don't even give me that, sir. We don't ask you to do all the shopping. You just assume that that's your responsibility. I offered to, I offered to help, and you said no. So I did not. I didn't help you. All right. All right. Enough of the bickering. Just take the tent. All right. Uh, All right. Garhard instantly lifts up up the tent. And... All right. So in your inventory, you're going to need to add. Let me pull up my sheet really quick. Uh, tent fit six people. Okay. Let me in, pull it. In any event, while we have the understanding that this forever closed great door is poorly named, a name age like milk, uh, we still need to know at least the lay of the land. Perhaps we at least should visit the Adventurer's Guild and get some information. Well, um, it doesn't. Well, you guys, you guys, the fir the first stop you end up making it is the Adventurers Guild that's right next to it, <laughs> the key of Wit the key to wisdom guild, which is the largest guild in the shopping district near, um, Algarden Station. Algarden Station, weird. Name after my own hut with that kind of name. Hold on a second, out character Shauna. It said fit six people or ten people? Six. Okay, got it. Relax, Alicia. It's not too tense. <sighs> Was Isabeau supposed to be a punster? Alicia makes a face and instantly shoves the pots and pans over to Isabeau. Here, you can carry these then. At least one of us knows how to cook. That's why they're being handed off to you. Gar you Gar be careful, unless you want to die today. I know, I know better than to piss off a lady. Gar snorts before, before putting the tent on, safely on top of his bag, secured, and then starts eating his thing of popcorn. All right. Looking, looking over to Azrael, they're both ladies, you know. All the more reason, the more reason, reason why you shouldn't piss one off. off. Catty bitches be catty bitches, 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 don't you know? Don't you mean Tabit? I'm, I'm not referring to race. I'm referring. Ah, yeah. I see what you do there. Clever. 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 By the way, Neff, that's the name of the <laughs> uh, clever set. girl. In the uh, Sacristy chat. Which should lighten up Alicia's load a little bit. Not that Monk is having a slavishly uh, track any of that. Yeah, I get it. But still, she's, do what, I... a meter high? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, do I, do I look well, like someone who, tra who tracks every instance of five-foot rope? Nope. <laughs> she's... Okay, so I have to make this point. She's a meter high with a strength of 12. <laughs> it's called common courtesy. I know, but a strength of 12 is enough to wear most lighter metallic armor. So. Still. You, you... This, the key to wisdom is a guild that was found uh, that was founded by Gregor Hammett, a sage and magician within the Institute who has the title of the Iron Man of Knowledge. Consequently, the guild primarily handles Institute requests. As you enter, you, you see a, el a um, elven woman with blonde, ha with blonde hair named Madeline who, we who wears the uniform of a guild receptionist. Though it, though if, though everybody knows if she's smiling at you, that usually means the request is somewhat troublesome. Oh boy! Or rather, she's been tasked with handing the a troublesome request to someone else. Mm -hmm. So she's smiling right now. Yep. 
Oh, shit. Gar looks up, sees his mouth. Hey, Alan, how are we doing today? Oh, we are, do we are doing quite it? lovely. Us, excellent. So, and then Gar lo looks annoyed, his ears go flat. What bullshit do we have to deal with today? Well, have to is have to is a is another matter entirely, since these are all these are always a voluntary a voluntary affair. But Daru gives her a look that says, "You know what I mean." The she ha she hands off a um a piece of paper that has the request simply. To to investigate the opening of the forever closed great door. Oh, yes, oh, yes, as we expected. Surprising Not surprising here. here. Um, in particular, remove any monsters, traps, or other hazards to ensure safety for fu for future explorations for the institute. Sees that part, Gar looks and says. You know these things will come back even if we kill them all, right? Just to, no one, not, in, just to no one in particular. Arya, Arya looks at him. There's no saying that this is a sword labyrinth or a shallow abyss. Thus, there's no saying that they constantly return. And even if they did, at least having knowledge of what to expect of them there would make it easy for them to deal with it. Exactly. There's you're being quite pessimistic. It's believed that the ruins are from the Magic Civilization period, and then further modified during the Magitek Civilization period, but beyond that door is unknown. So she... She hands Garu three... not three, um, six keys of unlocking, to use on it, saying you can use these on any Magitek um, locks and doors in the ruins. They don't. You will not need to return them because it's. We are fairly. We're fairly certain that all of them are going to get used up in this endeavor. Consumption of keys. I don't like that. Usually, a key needs to be constantly. Uh, shall we say useful? But these Magitek civilizations had strange standards, so I understand. Mm -hmm. You need to choose wisely what doors to use these on. I just raise an eyebrow at you. Looking back yeah. at, at Isabeau, and also looking over at Azrael. You're both weird, you know. If <laughs> one talk... I never said I wasn't. Takes one to know one. But... I just want, I just want Are to Sorry, I look like a, this is something I've learned about this world. You don't have to, you don't have to be crazy to be an adventurer, but it certainly helps. <laughs> but I'll agree with you there. The now any major findings would be part would be property of the institute. Aside from smaller things like mo like any mako stones you may find or various types of po of potions. The once you've come back, report what you found, and ba and based on what you, f and based on what you find, the institute will determine whether or not the request has been completed satisfactorily. If it's judged to be incomplete, you may be asked to return to the ruins. As for and the re the reward, fifteen hundred gamel per person. If a large find, if a if a large find is de is deemed to have been discovered, one th an additional one thousand per person. Hmm. Well, this is nice. Certainly have a small reward. Mm -hmm. I think it's better than nothing, but it's also a chance to prove ourselves. This is a man a fantastic find. Well then, well, then shall, we prepare, shall we prepare ourselves? I so believe that might be useful then, yes. Mm -hmm. So if there's any 
Um, any bit of shopping you want to get out of your want to get out of your system before you go down down there. This is as good a time as any. Hmm. Let's see. Everybody got on rations? I've still got four weeks worth. Yeah, let's look at my two I've been used on yet. I don't need it to. Oh, damn it, where is it? There it is. Hmm, let's see. I'm just gonna zoom in for a second to get a better look at everything. All right, so where are we in all this? Right now, oh, right now we're up here. Mm -hmm. Aha, there it is, ketoism. Okay. All right, let's see. Uh, what is in the Vectimer store? Let's see, Vectimer store. See, that would be in the tri um, uh, northeast, Trinea. Northeast. Yep. The that particular area is is what would what would amount to a um, a a kind. Kind of a mall, kind of a mall like place since there's that's in the Trinea district, which is probably the more fa probably the more fashionable er area within the city. Mm. Um, that's also where the spring festival is he is held every is held every year. Okay. Um, it's also where a lot of that's a, it's also where a lot of um designer clothing gets sh gets shown off within this within the city especially during the spring festival they get a lot of tourists around that time once a year okay what time of year is it not spring okay all right that out of the way. uh and what about the mortain workshop what do they have over there The Mort Um the Mortain works the Mortain workshop is primarily a um it pr it primarily fo focuses on ma on making clothes as well as um as well as well as things like cultural activities such as choral singing, ensemble music, and the like. Mm. Out of character. Does that include acapella? It can. Damn, because I'm trying to find uh, some place to uh, find some gadgets at. Alright. DM, where would you uh, suggest? I think... I. Th as far as what as far as what you'd need as far as gadgets um let me guess that would be down here at the uh, magitech workshop group well i th i think you've more or less gotten ev got everything that you need yeah fair i can't think of any major um major en parts on that end but um as you get now the forever closed great door, or at her, or the formerly forever closed great door. It's kind of hard to call it that when the thing, you know, not closed, is in a basement of a ruin south of the of the institute, and because thanks to the guidance that um, 
the receptionist had provided, you'll you'll find the to the door which is wide open, not like a little crack, but completely all the way open. This is now, quite the door. One thing, one thing that. Now the door the door is made of so is made of solid steel that's about it's about a meter a meter and a half thick. <laughs> Arya takes a quick look at the door. No wonder knocker bombs didn't work on this thing. And the thing and the thing is this is a tall door. This th this thing is a, the door is about the is about the size of a small house. Which, which further adds to the fact that a knocker bomb wouldn't work because this thing is too damn heavy. You'd need to, you would need, you would need to have several strongmen in order to move this thing. It's a big boy. It's likely, it's likely it means that whatever opened this thing was not of strictly strength. Well, this is a Magitek artifice. Perhaps it has to do with that. Maybe they didn't use people to open this door. And the question is, what opened it? That is a good question. Obviously, since this place is unexplored, we will proceed with utmost caution. Indeed. Indeed. Everyone keep, Everyone keep, keep weapons ready. at the ready. Everyone you never know what's waiting for us down there. Yeah. Though... The other, the other thing to no, the other thing to note is the is the fact that it is pitch dark in there. So either either have a lantern ready, a a flashlight, a light spell, or have dark vision. I mean, though I did... instantly ca cast eagle eye. I mean, ally. Um. I'll say, I mean, yeah. Like as soon as we get, we start going down. It, Garu's eyes instantly turn to that of an owl. Oh. And let, looking at the thing, Alicia does not have dark vision. Nope. Um. Arya just casts light. Mm -hmm. It's a level one true speech spell. Why would it? Why would I care? Yep. <laughs> Um, Azrael has dark vision. As does Daxter. Gar only has it in beast form. I mean, and in, in fact, to, to to make this really nice and thematic, since I'm holding uh, the destroyer in hand right now, I cast light on the destroyer. Mm -hmm. Gar who's right next to it has eagle eye. As soon as his owl sight, as soon as he casts light on the destroyer, Gar is like screaming. No, it's my fault you didn't wait. Garl looks up instantly over. You know I had this, right? You know there are some of us that don't, right? Besides, um, if 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 I'm not mistaken, and I don't believe I am. Um, I'll say it only lasts like three minutes. Mm. Or no less, like a minute, right? Um, three minutes. Yeah, three minutes. Light lasts three hours. But you guys, you guys should be able to see the subway ruins map now. Yeah, you might want to refit the thing because it's wrong. Ah, damn it. Oh, uh, zone to fit. Already working on it. This is a nice map. I like this map. Oh, yeah. The, the, there, there is an, an unfortunate quirk, quirk of, of Roll20, roll, roll 20, 20, where, where the, the, map, the zone, zone level, level that, that I have is not shared, shared with the rest, rest of you. It happens. Shit happens. Mm-mm-mm. Now, now 
the other, the other thing, thing to, to, no, no, to, to note, note is the, the fact that, 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 that as, as, you, you, as, as you, you get, get as, as you approach, you do, do see that, that there's, there's a bit of it. There's, there's a bit of it underwater, underwater now. now. Um, from, from where, where you, you are and where that water, water is, is, it's 90 feet. Okay. Or, or, about, about, or about 30, 30 meters. meters. I know, I know this is not an exact one-to-one, one, 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 but, but work with me. Would you even hear the splash? Yeah, it's more that if if you if you fall from the track, that's that ninety nine points fall damage. Ow. You're gonna die. Yeah. Yeah. I die. That'd be a death. That'd be a death. Mm-hmm. Alicia so, pops up on Rar's shoulders. I'm not falling, mm-hmm. damn it. But, but. I don't upon know. The, <laughs> upon, upon entering, entering through the massive, massive door, door, you find, find yourself in a spacious, spacious room with a high ceiling. High ceiling. The, floor the floor is made of flat, flat stone, stone with no unevenness. As you, As you continue, continue through the room, room you come, come across a narrow, narrow sto- stone, stone floor, floor with, with that, that runs, runs from north, north to south. south. The residents of King's Fall may, 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 may notice, notice but would likely, likely notice, notice that the that this looks, looks like a platform, platform of a magic, magic train. train. Looking, Looking down, down from the edge, edge of the platform, platform you, can you can see the track cast, cast in place, place about one, one and, and a half, half meters below. below. The, track the track appears to be laid on a viaduct built along the underground canal. The height, the height from the viaduct, viaduct to the underground, underground now now is, is 30, 30 meters. meters. So, so the, 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 go ahead, go ahead. Uh, uh, on the, on map, the map, because, because of, how of how dark it is, are we, are we able, able to see the other side of the lights? I'm, I'm, I'm going to go, 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 go with yes. yes. Okay. Just, just, for, just for the sake, sake of convenience. convenience. Okay, okay. So... so uh, Aria, Aria points, points gesturing, gesturing with her giant, giant fuck off sword, sword light, light right, right now, now. Um, um, and says, says it, it, looks "It looks like like, like there's something, something over there. there. A, a dog? dog? I mean, it, I mean, it says south, south here, here, so I'm going to assume. Mm-hmm. And, I and I would know what it appears as I work around ships. ships. Yeah, you can either you can either try and jump across, or you can or you can head northward along the tracks." About, about how, how far, far across, across is this canal? canal. Um, I, I would say, say I would I would, I would say, say about, about uh, um ten, 10 meters. meters. Canal's, Canal's only ten, 10 meters, meters across? across. It's thirty feet. No, 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 no. that. Like, like the like waterway, waterway itself. itself is what I'm saying. Yeah. How, yeah. How, 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 how wide is that? Is that, is that, is that thing? thing? Um, sorry, sorry, I have to correct, correct myself. myself. It's not, it's not, it's not, not 10, 10 meters, it's 15 meters. meters. <laughs> yeah. 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 Fuck that! I don't think we're going to go that way. I 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 think I, 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 I chuck up for a second, second and go, go you know, no, I, I could just use, use wall, wall walking and walk, and walk across, across the ceiling, ceiling and over. But, but and, and, I, have I have a feeling, feeling that, that since, since there's, there's a pier here, here, here there's, there's going, going to be other places, places for boats. Maybe, maybe we, we can, can just find, find a boat. A boat. Mm-hmm. What would be a good idea? So you guys are heading north? north? Something like, like that. Gars, the whole, the whole time, time this is going, going on, Gars is basically a giant, giant chibi with, with an even, even chibier, uh, Alicia, Alicia on, on his, his back, back being held up by Azrael like, like a little, little child. child. But what but about, about your horse? horse? <laughs> No, no. Gar, 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 Gar came down, down here without that horse because, because he's actually, actually he's smart, smart enough on this one where, where it, it because of like like the underground, underground portion, portion most likely have 
this is the rails, rails such like like east side. side. I didn't, I didn't see you could bring the horse. horse. The, the, the guard chose not, not to bring, bring him. him. All, All right. right. That, that, that just means, means you don't get, get to do, do any of the rider stunts. stunts. Yeah, we have a guard. This is guard's guard choice. choice. He, knows he knows what he's doing, doing on this. this. Okay. okay. So, we, so we, we went north north then, then I guess. I guess. All, All right. right. So, so you do you do, you do take, take a bit of a, a, a bit of a drop, drop by, by, by a couple, couple feet, feet just to get, get onto the, the tracks. tracks. Uh -huh. Of course, the, the interesting, interesting part, part is that, is that, is that, is that it's, the tracks, tracks are, are, are only have, have one, one rail. rail. And moving, moving upward. upward. You do, you, cr you do cross what, what looks to be a, a, a railroad, railroad bridge, but, but it's, it's, it's been, been long, long since collapsed, collapsed and eventually find, find, your, find yourself at what, what looks, looks like, like a waiting, waiting area. area. On the, On the north, north side, side of the complicated, complicated track extending east to west, west along, along the underground, underground waterway, waterway, there's a waiting, waiting area about 10 meters long and 5 meters, meters wide. wide. On the, On the north, north wall of the, of the, sh of the, of the shelter, shelter, there's, there's a, a metal, metal door, door which is slightly open, and a blue-green blue -green light, light is shining, shining through, through the door. door. I mean, I'd, I'd like, like to look, to look at, the at the door and just see how thick that, that door is. is. It's, not it's not as thick as, thick as the door, door at, the, at, the, at the entrance, but it, but it is, is a monotype door, door that's halfway open. open. Large, Large and wide, wide enough that any major humanoid could get through. Okay. okay. Is it is it something, something that, that any, any one, one of us might, might be able to just like manipulate like, 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 pry open further, further easily, easily? Or, or would it take some effort? effort? You, you would. Um. That would, that would be, be that would be a success value twenty, 20 roll. roll. All right. All right. Remember these, these things. things are, these things are thick, 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 thick solid, solid steel. steal. They, they ain't budging. budging. Yeah. yeah. Arya, Arya pushes, pushes on, on it. it. Realizes, realizes it's still pretty, pretty heavy. heavy. But, but looks, looks back, back at Isabeau, Isabeau and goes, These aren't, these aren't as big as the big, big ones from, from before. before. Your, bombs Your bombs might be useful. useful. I, don't I don't know. We'll have, we'll have to try, try it on the next one we see. see. I, I actually I pull, pull over my magic spheres, spheres and, and, uh... Well, this door's well, already uh, open. No, no, no. There's a reason why I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm gonna pull it out, cast Analyze, which analyzes any magic item. And I'm, and I'm going, going to analyze, analyze what, what I can, can on this to figure, figure out what I can, can on this door to figure, figure out whether or not, or not it can be a bit like, like that. Uh, it's, it's probably, probably it, it, it's, it's probably, probably tied, tied to some mechanism, mechanism but, but you can't, can't tell, tell from here, here since you're just, just examining door. door. Uh, All right, worth, worth a shot. shot. Mm -hmm. Should, Should we? Should we see what this waiting area has for us? What, what sort, sort of... of... Because it, it looks, looks like, like there may have... May have... It, 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 this, this, this is one of those, those things. things. There's, There's this railway, railway. There's an open, open area, area, and then place, place with a door. door. It's, almost it's almost like, like passengers, passengers would have done this stuff here. here. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh we, we are in a city of trains. Perhaps at some point there were underground trains. Okay, okay. So, so uh, uh, you, do, you, do, he, you do hear, hear from, from the other side, side so, so, the, the um, um, mechanical, mechanical sounds. sounds. Okay. okay. Um, um, I, I, I want to search, search just to make, to make sure, sure we aren't, we aren't missing, missing anything important, though. Mm -hmm. so, so, I, I will roll, roll up observation. observation. You do, you do hear, hear what sounds, sounds like a wong, wong, wong. wong. Alicia is also That's going to uh, roll observation. So are you so saying, saying this is the long, long way? way? I, don't I don't think, think that's, that's the case, case now. <laughs> I had to. I had to. I had to. No, you no, didn't hurt him. him. <laughs> you hurt him. All right, Lacey is rolling observation as well. 16. More or less, or less the same, same, or or less the same, same result. result. Guys, 
if because all, all, all you can do is just listen, listen from here. here. Mm. If, if you, you want, want the source, you'd have, have to go, go in. in. Mm. Well, well, I don't, I don't think, think that we. Guard puts a choice. Guard puts a yeah. I was supposed to say guard puts Alicia on the on the ground and takes large steps there, making himself known. Obviously trying to draw attention while looking over at everyone else. Pointing point to, to the side, side saying, be over, over there, there, I will be the, the, the distraction. distraction. But, but as, as you, you head in, in you, you, come, come, you, you come, come into a small room, room about, about five square, square meters, meters in the air, area, in area with, with a, a circular, circular magic, magic tech device, device that, that looks, looks like a stage. stage. The, the magic, magic tech is emitting the blue-green light that you saw earlier. And... And, and um, um, anyone, anyone who has, has and, and if you, if want, you want to examine, examine the device, device that's either, either going, going to be insight, so observation package, package or you can, you can roll your, your intelligence, intelligence mod plus, plus your artificer level. level. Fifteen on observation for Alicia. So, 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 so So, so, it doesn't, it doesn't take, take long to figure, figure out that this is a transfer, transfer device. device. A, a active, active transfer, transfer device. device. This time, time Arya looks, looks at Gar and goes, goes I, think I think I'm a little, little more inclined, inclined to take a beating, beating if I go, go through, through first. Kind of, kind of tapping, tapping on the armor, armor that, that she's wearing. wearing. Uh, and steps, and steps on, on the pad. pad. Mm -hmm. And, and she, she, you see, see the, and you, you are transported, transported here. here. Nope. It's a it's small, small room, room about, about five, five meters, meters square. square. Next, Next to you, you near, near, is that, that same, same transfer, transfer object, object exactly, exactly as, as before, but, but a bluish, bluish white, white light. light. It, it has one, one metal, metal door. door. All right. All right. Um, um, quick, quick around. around any, anything, anything threatening, threatening me? me? No, no. You, do you, do see see a, you do see a nightmare girl, girl with, with shaggy, shaggy flaxen, flaxen hair, hair that, that, go, that goes that, that, that goes, goes down, down to her back. back. Well, well met, Kindred. Kindred. Mm -hmm. she, she introduces herself, herself as, as Lulu, Lulu as Lulu Alley. Alley. Uh -uh. And, and Specific. Ex ex she explains, explains that, 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 that a few, few, after, after several, several months, months while exploring the, the exploring ruins, ruins, she discovered a runefolk generator, generator and awoke, awoke a runefolk woman, woman called, called Kuya, who was sleeping inside. inside. Since, Since then, then Lulu has been working, working with Kuya, who has created a line, line who has created, created as a line maintenance, maintenance administrator, administrator of the railway and transfer using a transfer device. Kuya had, had received an emergency signal from, from the train, train depot on the premises, premises and went and to see what, what was happening, saying, saying I'm sure, I'm sure she, she didn't want to bother, bother me because I was investigating the ruins. ruins. Lou won't, won't, leave, won't leave this spot, spot. She, she still has some research, research to do. And she was, she was one... And, and she, she, she states, states, I want, I want you to deliver this to Kuya and help her with it, and hand you... A, a administrator's magic, magic key. key. Explain that, that it can only be used by individuals with administrator authority. authority. In, other In other words, words while, the, while it's essentially a master, a master key, key, only, 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 only this, this Kuya can, can use, use it. it. Will, will you, you, will you, you help, help her out? 
Of course. Of course. We, were we were already, already sent, sent down, down here. here. In order, in order to, to investigate, investigate and make, make these, these ruins safer. safer. So, so if, if there's, there's someone, someone who can, can help us who has intimate, intimate knowledge, knowledge, that's a, that's a, that's a godsend. godsend. She, she also, Lou also, also hands, hands you, you six, six five-point five Mako stones. stones. Okay. But, but there's, there's no, obviously, obviously, the, obviously the, the, door door to, the door to the, the east, east is locked, locked so, so there's, there's no... So, so, this, this is, is a, this is a dead, dead end. end. So, so oh, head okay. back on, on I, the uh, platform. I, I, uh, I tell, I tell I, I, before, before I go, I tell, I tell Lou, you know, you know to, be to be safe, safe and we'll, we'll come, come back, back for her after we're done investigating. investigating. Uh, uh, I, come I come back through the portal. portal. I, tell I tell everyone, everyone well, well, we have, we have a, a new goal. goal. There, there is someone, someone a, a rune folk, folk woman, woman named Kuya, Kuya somewhere, somewhere here. here. Uh, through, through that, that teleporter, teleporter is, is Lou Alley, Alley. And, and she's, she's been, been investigating, investigating the runes. This, this, this rune folk, folk has been helping her, her as, as a maintenance administrator, administrator for the railways. railways. She even, she even gave, gave me a key that can only, only be used by, by this Kuya because, because it's tied, tied to her. Um, um, I also, I also hand, hand out everyone, everyone one of the Mako stones, stones and keep one for myself. myself. So, so everyone, everyone in your items... items Mako stone, stone, five, five points. points. Remember that Mako stones, stones can, be can be used in lieu of MP, MP for, for the purposes, for purposes of... Well, well anything, anything uses as MP. MP. Mm -hmm. so, so, I, I, I imagine, imagine that this key, key as, as she described, she described it, it's like, like a skeleton, skeleton key, key for the entire, entire place. place. So, so we, we should find Kuya. Kuya, Kuya will, will be able, able to help, help us. And we may not need... To, to ration, ration our, our keys, keys of unlocking, unlocking so, so much. much. Alright. So so uh, 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 mm -hmm. so, so, from what I understood, Lou is a, a member of, of probably any of the different, different societies of scholars, scholars from the city, city so... so. Um. Lou is, is, the the fa is, is the founder, founder of the, 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 the Ongarden Archaeological Complex Academy. Academy. And, and the sole researcher. researcher. Uh, I don't I think, think I would have known, known that, that as, 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 as so I'm, I'm not, not someone from King's, King's Fall, though. Mm -hmm. So. so. Yep, yep. Alright, uh, but really she quick. told me. Yo, yo. Uh, how many MP do the uh, five point Mako stones restore? Five, five points. Five. <laughs> oh, duff. <laughs> no, when I think <laughs> five point, I'm thinking literal points. No, no, no. no. Five, it's, it's, it's five, five points, points of mana, mana that you can spend in lieu of using your own mana, essentially. Uh, Garo, should I, should I give it someone else? Because for all intents and purposes, Garo does use mana. Yes, yeah, you do. You do, you do for, for your, your techniques. Your techniques can cost three mana to, to use. So, so you, know, you know, this, this gives, gives you a little, little buffer of, of, of mana um, in, the in the middle, middle of the battle. Because mm -hmm. with, 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 with one, one of our homebrews, home remember that <laughs> health and mana fills up after, after every battle, battle ends. So, so it's not like we're rationing it too bad. But like if we were in a big battle where you had to use a lot of techniques back to back, this could help with that. Considering, considering you have, have very, very little. little. And those, those of us in the trade, trade refer, refer to this as going, going Nova. Nova. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think you can, can go, go Nova, Nova in this game, game to be honest, honest one. <laughs> you, could. you could. Not that it, it would, would have as, as high of an effect, effect and, you'd, and, you'd, and, and you wouldn't really be able, be able to do it until you get to the double digits of your adventure levels. But you could. And, and right. 2.0 added, added two, two more, more epic, epic levels, levels later in, in its run, run which, which we are, we are not, not using. But, but we might, might one day. day. Mm -hmm. Alright, All right. So, so I guess, I guess the, the new, uh, uh, the new the goal, goal is find Kuya. Kuya. Mm -hmm. and, and since, since we've already, already, we already we know where, where we came, came from, we should, should go, go forward. forward. There's, There's no, no other way, way but west. west. Mm -hmm. As, 
Okay, young one, let's, let's go. go. Yep, yep. You know and... I'm about as old as you, right? Gar's just pats, pats her, her head. head. I, I, I think Gar wants to die today. today. I don't know what good. <laughs> Well, at, at least, least he'll, he'll die, die doing, doing what, what he loved. loved. Grooving, Grooving around. <laughs> and... Do you guys mind filibustering for, for one, one minute? minute? <clears throat> filibustering. So, so uh, as, as, as part of the... Uh, the journey along these uh, these tracks. Arya is, of course, tossing little stones down into the the canyon just to hear the the poops in the running water. She thinks it's funny, especially as she watches uh, some people twitch at the sound. No one likes the smell of wet tabbit. Just remember that. I hardly think we'd have to worry about wet tabbit. Don't worry, you won't fall in there. No, no. Besides, with that deep of a fall, wet would be the least of your worries. If you could jump to the center of, of the canal, you might survive the fall hitting the water, but if you look down over the edge directly, there's a bunch of artificial shoals from all the crumbled uh, stonework. You hit those. You're not coming back. Nope. I'll, uh... I'll stay perched up here, thank you. And she grabs a little tight onto Garu's hair. Trust me, Garu, like, grunts a, Garu grunts a little bit, bef but keeps on moving forward. Trust me, even me as a rune folk, I don't think I could handle that much damage. Maybe on an official construct, but... Even I would feel the pain from that. And all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Azrael back together again. <laughs> um, Runefolk can feel pain. <laughs> That's my point! That's my point! <laughs> I know I can feel I know pain! I, can feel I, pain. Want I wouldn't want to feel it! Yep. Uh. <sighs> Excuse me. That is why I made my comment about all the king's horses and men. Yes, this would... But... Something that I kind of hinted at is, when it comes to Magitek ruins, you, you could look at any modern ruin and easily repurpose it as such. And, hell, there's, enti there's entire content creators who all that they do is photograph abandoned, um, like mall, like malls, stations, buildings, and the like. And mm -hmm. urban exploration is ver is a popular pastime in some places. I have out of character. This is me out of character. I have been looking, watching those scenes. There's any nearby, so it's like okay. I know pe friends who want to do oh, zombie photo shoots. Okay, where's a good place to go? Because I know I'm going to have to help out in some way. But moving on. Yeah. So, and I do I do apologize for the bit of for the bit of filibustering. It is ju just that there there is always one, you think you've got every you think you've got everything handled, and there's one thing that. Um, falls through the cracks. Ain't that the way of it. Mm -hmm. Must be a day that ends in Y. But it is how these things go. I tr and for, th for those unaware, I try to pre-plan as much as possible. But just because I'm Minnesotan doesn't mean I'm Mr. Perfect. Plus, 
Plus, with with something they have in mind, I had to call a little bit of a audible. A small audible? Yes. Hmm. But is there such a thing? But as you... Now that I got that taken care of, as you head into what looks like another waiting area, the road following the underground canal flowing westward, and it reaches a stone bridge where it meets another canal flowing from the north. As you cross the bridge, you notice a flash of light in the dark sea ahead of you, resembling gunfire. It it would appear that a that a fight is going is going on up ahead. And it, as you do see it, you see a, a metal door like you saw before, but this one is tightly closed. But you also see what looks like a runefolk woman who's fight who's fighting some sort of giant insect. And she's holding her own, but she's clearly outmatched. Well, I think our, li our lovely friend here needs some backup. What do you guys say? Five Gamels oh. says that it's Kuya. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree, as I pull out my two golems getting ready for battle. <coughs> mm -hmm. yep. So, let me... Star gets into a stance, and while Pat... while... Pat, like... Like hitting his his elbow. Let's go. But uh, Ari, of course, runs to the front, wielding the giant lit up sort of fuck offery. Mm -hmm. So let me move move you guys over here. Is that a minute in actual time or restaurant time? <laughs> yes. <laughs> honey, there's, honey, no, there's no way to avoid the echo. No, 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 no. There no, were no, some. Not that, not, that's not what they're talking about. It was doubled audio from all sources. I listened in. Oh. oh. Okay. Did that fix it? Um. Check, check, one, two. One, two. Yeah, it's it's fixed. Okay, I know what happened because I had to update OBS this morning. And sources got doubled up. It's one of them did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That yeah, that fixed it though. Yep, but All right. given that given that you are going to be help helping uh, Ku Kuya, who is the who? Yeah, I, ha I had to spoil that bit. But John, it is time to do. Would you do the honors? It is the battle cry. Indeed, if I check my watch, it is time. 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 <laughs> well. I believe that's what they call stereo. <laughs> yep. So. <laughs> Um, going from top to bottom once again, so let me know front line or rear guard. Front. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm at the top, I sir. Said top, yes. top to bottom, Rick. Mm -hmm. So, Alicia? Rear. But she is going to implement her geograph. Alright. Aria? Front line, preparation phase, alternate form. Mm -hmm. Azral? Me in the rear, me, me in the rear with my two low puppets in the front. All right. Dax. Rear. Garu. Front and beast form. All right. Um. Since you're going with beat, since you are in beast form, let me do one little thing. Plus twelve bonus because because I, because I can't do plus two to strength modifier up through other means. Um, and Isabeau. 
Rear as usual. We have a pretty solid lineup these days. Yeah, yeah, I don't see us changing that anytime soon. So this might be you might just keep this as the default. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Anyways, you might become a frontline fighter eventually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't hold my breath. I got my I got my goals for that. Yep. Roll an ish. Initiate of time. And all that I need is one person to break twelve. <sighs> I don't think any of us did this time. Garu think... did. Yeah. Yeah, Garu did. Yeah, Garu did. Bar you got Bar Just got. Just got. Uh. All right, which means your side is going first. Excellent. Hey, double checking something. <laughs> um. Garu is going to start with minor action. Um, I'm going to, or, I'm, go, I'm going top or, to bottom when it comes to this. Yeah. So, elite. Yeah. Actually, let me let me double check to make sure turn order. Nope, never mind. It already put in turn order. So, Garu, you are going to be up. Yep. That's that's why I said. So I thought. Oh, wait, minor, minor action. Uh, I think is. Technique Dragon Tail Miner. Well, remember, you can use as many minor actions as you want. I know. Mm. I'm just, I'm not, sh I'm just double checking on this one because I didn't have the triangles by it, by the name of it on the sheet. If it doesn't have triangles, then it can't be used as a miner. Okay. Like, well, it depends on which triangles you mean—the blue square with the triangles, or just the the upright single triangle. Blue square. The blue square means minor action. If it doesn't have it, it it's not a minor action. Okay. Mm -hmm. One double check. Okay, in that case... Uh, let's see. I'm going to go throwing. You were you were going to do dragon tail, right? Yeah, but I need... It has a, it's a minor action. Okay. Yeah. Like, then... liter literally every enhancer technique is a minor action. It's just that yeah. the ones that have, that have a triangle, another uh, an upright single triangle, means they can also be used during the preparation phase. Yep. Fair enough. Um, hang on, I need to put that in because it probably did. It probably didn't carry. Oh, there we go. Dragon tail should absolutely be a minor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we're going with tail. All right. <laughs> and let me check its defense. So let's let me, hang on. Yeah, that hits. So roll damage. <laughs> Ow! Oh, you got box cars. Roll again. That is a total of 21 damage minus its defense. Blackjack, baby. Blackjack, baby. Um, its de its defense is is five. So 16. Yep. And since you're doing chain, it's since you have chain attack. Um, 
attack again with one of your with either the either the tail again or something else. Second verse, same as the first. And that does not, that does not hit. And hold that thought. Take your time. Yes. I'll be out there in a minute. Eddie forgot to mute, Eddie his, forgot mic. To mute his mic. Oops. Anyone got the Jeopardy music playing? <laughs> no, I got battle music playing. All I have is trial music playing. <laughs> I mean, if I were going to play any song here right now, I'd just play Cornered from the very first Phoenix Wright. Oh, that's a good selection. Ba -da -ba. Ba -da -ba. Ba -da -ba -ba. Smooth Groove did a great a cappella cover of it, too. Oh, I know, oh, I know. I've heard it. It's... Smooth McGroove rarely fails with his covers. I don't think he ever has. It's just some people don't like the songs that are covered. And there, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, I don't see anything wrong with that. But, again, he rarely fails. I'm just sad that he uh he came back and said he was going to be back and then promptly disappeared again. Probably because he had IRL stuff, so. I mean, the last time I think it was just burnout, so he stopped doing it for five years. Mm -hmm. I don't think Flight of the Valkyries is very appropriate here, Dragon. <laughs> None of us are flying. Yet. I mean, I have hover magic, but that doesn't really count. I mean, next major level I get, I get flight. I don't have a Pegasus. Even then, mon most of Gar's money is going t straight towards getting a motorcycle. See, uh, Monk forgot to make sure that the turn order was properly in order, in descending order. He'd have to click the sort button a couple times to do it. Yeah. Thinking about it, since me and Isabel have like 10, don't we need to re-roll? Yep. I mean, you would, roll just one, not you would roll 1d20 and see whoever gets higher. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, while we're waiting, let's get that taken care of. I think I got higher. Well, well, we'll see. You, you never know, Dax could, get to, could be a 20. Oops. Got the one. Got the one. No, no. I just mixed up. He just messed up the slash and the R. <laughs> yeah, the slash comes before the R. <clears throat> yeah, he's got it. Go. Yep. So it goes Isabeau, then Dax. I am last on the list. Yes. That's okay, because I get to give you buffs. Well, thing is, I don't. I'm. I'm. I think. Looking at everyone and their initiative roles, uh, I think I'm the only other person, like. Half of the half of the party doesn't even have uh, buffs to initiative because we don't have sage or or not sage but um scout or uh, or tactician. Mm. Anybody nope. who has scout gets a gets a buff. What's the buff? Because I know I have I'm a level one scout, so it's not much, but it's something. Well, it's your level in scout plus your agility modifier. 
Yeah, so it doesn't really matter. It gives you an additional three. That's a lot. Okay. And... <laughs> and welcome back to my Arigato. <laughs> Monk, microphone. Test. Oh, no. There you go. Okay. By the way, while we were gone, um, Isabeau and Daxter did a D20 roll off to see who would be going first in in the initiative order between the two. The order will go: Azrol, Isabeau, Dax, Alicia, and then Arya. After Garu's finished, and he is. Yeah. Well, Gar. He tried. He tried his second attack and missed. So, yeah, that's it for him. So next would be, um, Azrael. Alrighty, Alrighty then. then. Well, and remember, your puppets case. share initiative with you. That's true. That's true. But this is where he can put out his his uh, stratagems and all that fun shit. Mm-hmm. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get, surging, ahead and get offense surging offense going. Okay, so surging offense was the one that gave everybody plus one to attack, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey. That'll help a little That'll bit. That'll help a little bit, but you know what time, you know it, what time is. it is. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder how roasted how roasted bug will taste. What do you think? Garu pipes up instantly. It's not good. Trust me. <laughs> Still, I'm sure. Still, I'm sure that the bug won't like being cooked alive. What do you say? What do you say, Arya? Arya? Why don't you light my fire? I would be glad to, uh, bring to uh, bring some heat to this fight. Play a weapon! So now it's a giant fuck off sword of light and fire. And then I guess it would be your lone puppet's turns, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's, All get, right, the so let's get the let's lone puppet. Let's let's do let's uh let them do what they do best. Hey lone puppets. Hey lone puppets. <laughs> Smash. Smash. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. So look. So rolling accuracy for the for the first one. Oh, rolled it twice. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did that. Um, let's go with yours. <laughs> <laughs> All right, roll damage. Yeah. Yeah. Eleven. Eleven. So six damage. All right. Now for, All right, the, other now for the other one. Nah, that ain't. Nah, that ain't. That ain't hitting. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> not if you're not gonna, try. gonna try. Still gonna hit, Still on, gonna it. hit on it. I'm not. I'm not mad. I'm good. Besides, at this point, I think, think Arya's gonna finish it off in the first round, round after that much damage. Yep. If it even gets to me. That's what I'm thinking too. That's what I'm thinking too. Oh boy. Oh boy. So. Hang on. Why is? Sorry, I had to I had to do one little adjustment because of some weirdness on the turn order thing. So on the let me let me double check the roll. So Isabeau, you are up next. 
I think it's time to try something a little new. Let's go. A shotgun bullet. All right, righty then. So shotgun. Oh, that's de that is definitely a hit. A hit. I hope so. With that kind of a roll. <laughs> Let's see. Shotgun bullet. What le what level is that? Uh, that is uh, actually level five, and it deals power twenty plus magic power damage to every target it hits. All right. Roll po roll power roll power twenty. And this is the this is why it's a good thing that you have a two hand that you have a two handed <laughs> um, gun because otherwise you couldn't use this. Seems like it's um an area of effect denial weapon though. If we were if we weren't you if we were using standard or advanced combat, it would there would be some more effects, but it get it's a bug. She's killing it and she's using the biggest thing she's got. Yep. Yep, so that's fourteen that would be nine damage. Like I said, it's not even gonna get to me. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's going to get to Yeah, you can get to Alicia. So, Dax, you're up next. All right. Uh, I think I'm going to make it simple and use Earth Hammer on him. All right. Let's see, Earth Hammer, that is... Power 10 plus magic power, physical damage. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, but for, but first, roll first roll magic power. Hold on, hold on. There we go. All right, and that's 16. Mm -hmm. Then I gotta roll a 10 on the power table. Um, that's if it that's if it hits, which let's see, that's up in Yep, that's it that's a hit. Yep. So now now you roll on the power table. And it's power? it's not it's not power table fourteen, it's power table ten, you add magic power, do whatever you roll. Yeah. And that's a crit. All right. Actually, Drop dice and get. I I need to I need to correct that. Um, Earth Hammer's critical threshold is supposed to be twelve. So that's just a hit, mm -hmm. as is. All right. So that's six. Di that is six damage. Plus his magic power. Mm -hmm. Which uh, is. Uh... Which is eleven, so it's seventeen damage. Bunk. The it's speeder, dead. the speeder is dead, even with its armor. Right. So I'd, I'd say, I'd say, I know it. It describes it as a stone hammer, but I'm, I'm going to be stupid and and say that one of your friends dropped an anvil on it. <laughs> Was it a no. friend named Acme? <laughs> I don't I know. If no, these are going to be named Acme. No, supposed... no, they're no, they're currently they're currently in court being represented by John Cena. <laughs> I was going to say no. It's most likely someone wasn't paying attention. Next thing you know, a couple stones from the ceiling conveniently landed on top. But yeah, it is dead. D E D dead. Mm -hmm. And in the af in the aftermath, you do c you do come across. You basic you just remember, folks. It's it's not kill stealing. It's kill confirming. Someone's got to roll the loot roll. All right. Yep. 
Got it. That's a uh, 2d6. Yep. Nine. And that results in you getting some sticky water, which mean which means, Dax, you get a red A card. All right. Hey, nice. <laughs> but you end up red card, red card. You get a red card. But you and first off, let me show you Kaya. Kuya. Or sorry, not Kaya. Kuya, sorry. Boy, she looks familiar. Mm -hmm. uh, she looks to be she looks to be twenty five years old, but is pro but is probably has only been active for a year. She introduces herself as a maintenance administrator created during the Magitech civilization era. But she took refuge and went to sleep in the generator. Which technically means she's been asleep for about 300 years. Arya hands her the um, administration key. Mm -hmm. Lou said you forgot this. She ta she takes it and states that, sh that she has to do... She asks you to accompany her to the train depot to, de to deal with the emergency signal. We were planning on exploring the whole place, mapping it out as part of the research center's request, so we can do that as well. Mm -hmm. Yep. And she, obviously, she obviously she's grateful on the on the matter. That sim simply says it seems that this section is not safe. Let us head to that that area together, if you do not mind. Lead the way. Mm -hmm. So let me move you guys back to the map. Which means that the ne the next spot on four is <laughs> A un is a unfor is a unfortunate one, or an actually let me do let me double sorry let me head back. So there's two options: either he either head no head northward or he or head west. Well, we're we're basically following Kuya, so whatever way she she's going, we're going. Oh, um, she heads. You see her heading west. And then stopping because there's a big old waterfall that it that is right in front of you. Well, um, it is, and she she does she does not she's a bit confused as to the waterfall because that isn't in her um, data. Well, it has been three hundred years since you've been since you've last been running. I think that this is due to the need for repair. I also don't think that any of us are going to make it through something like that. Gar is off in the back eating his popcorn. Mm -hmm. With a certain rabbit on t on his back. Back where she belongs. Yeah, and um, just saying, it's best not to go chasing waterfalls. <laughs> I've heard of pack rabbits, but that's ridiculous. <laughs> We should stick yeah, to the rivers we're... and the streams that we're used to, Monk. God <laughs> ah, damn it. Hey, he set, set me up. I knocked him down. I was going to say, you set him up for that. Somebody see, this... was going to do it eventually. No, you see, here's the thing. If Monk and I were, were sitting next to each other right now, one of us would have extended our hand and the other would have given, given the slap five. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's just how it works, man. Yeah. Well, but... <clears throat> um... Looking at the waterfall and looking at the canal and remembering the pier, uh, Arya turns to Kuya. Are there any boats we could use on these piers to try and pass underneath this? There should be one northward, which she had. She, the rest of you head back to the, to, the waiting area. 
mm -hmm. and to and to the door the door that was sealed. She I mean, Alicia was going to attempt an observation roll to see if the waterfall was actually a waterfall. Um, you get you get close, and even bef even before you touch the waterfall, your hand starts getting cold and misty. Mm -hmm. Okay, and not an illusion this time. Not like the other place. She heard the uh, right. wipes her paw dry. Mm -hmm. Looking, looking back at, at uh, Alicia, you know, if it had been an illusion or trap that was part of this place, Kuya would have known. But she also said but, she didn't remember the waterfall being there. Yes, which means it wasn't originally part of this place. Gar puts up. It's been three hundred years. Time breaks everything. Points Thank to you. the wall. Points to the wall where, obviously. It has seen better days and looks like time has taken its toll because some of it's breaking apart. The more and, scholarly and, among you should already know that a lot of stuff got wrecked during the Diabolic Triumph all mm -hmm. o all over the planet. Look, looking over at uh, Garu, yes, that's exactly what I said to Kuya not ten minutes ago. But you do see. In the back you of her mind, I'm gonna just say, in the back of her mind, Arya is starting to wonder if the party is becoming stupider on average. Gar just, Gar just throws a th who still has, still has this bowl of popcorn. Just throws some kernels at Arya. My sword's still on fire. They burn up. Mm -hmm. Um. But well, he doesn't have a noise. He's not trying to hit him. Hit, actually, cause damage. All right, all right, all right moving on. <laughs> but she does open the door to the north, and did it. And as you look at the other side, you note that there that um, if you tried to open it manually, you would have gotten a bit of a jolt, since it's trapped with an electric shock trap. I mean, if if nothing, I would have had a looking at looking at Isabeau. You know, it's a good thing we didn't have to test your knocker bombs. That could have been nasty. Mm -hmm. Or fun. One of the two. At this point, Arya now has in the back of her mind, Isabeau, masochist. <laughs> <laughs> but I never said I would uh, actually set them off while I was there. But eh. as you, as the door is opened... You go, you go through, and you find a staircase. And after descending several turns, you arrive at a space that's ten meters wide and twenty meters deep. The east side lacks a wall, and instead faces a pier alongside an underground canal that runs from north to south. The north, south, and west are flat stone walls. The and the entrance through which you you arrive can be found on the south wall. On the west wall, there's a door made of gold and silver, which is tightly closed. <laughs> there's nothing on the north wall. Alright. All right. So, uh, so uh, where would these boats, would be, these located? boats be located yeah. at, Kuya? She, point she points to the, go the golden door. And how does one open this door? Well, the door. She she sim she simply walks up to the door, um, and op and opens it the way you'd open any door. It's, it wasn't even locked. Uh, uh, apologies. apologies. Can't can't, you can't be too careful like in a place this. like this. But with. The, Within that air, within that area, are two bo are two boats. The, this is a room that's about fifteen square meters, and there's storage spaces for two small magical boats on the north and south walls. The magic boats are about ten meters long and placed on a pedestal with wheels. They're stored in a storage space and are secured firmly with a device, which makes it impossible to transport out of the storage space without first removing the fixed device. 
Um, the devices are tied to a panel that se that seems to ha seems to have a eight di seems to have um, panels for a um, key code. A key code. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, the... I'm gonna I'm gonna search for instructions right. or I don't know. You know, Garlic. places like places like this tend to have you know, yeah, like manuals oh. or whatever. Gar looks at Kuya. Can you get the? Can you unlock these boats? She she says no. She since she does, um. She tr she tries to she tries to input the password that she knows, doesn't work. Password must have been changed in the last three hundred years. All right, all right. Don't look around for any information. All right. Observation, everybody. All right. Arya's just looking for a manual. For... Arya's just looking for anything of use. Dar, yeah. we got a higher roll All than right. Alicia did. Mm -hmm. You do. You eventually, you get, you guys eventually find a me a memo that can that um contain mm -hmm. that contains a little something, and I'm going to be putting this in Secrecy chat. For you get for you guys, so give me a moment. Although it should be worth noting that the mem that the memo is that you find is written in ma in um, Magitech language. Oh, good. Right. At least we have two people that can read it. Yeah, so yeah there are at least two so people who can read it. Nope. <laughs> so. Gar finds it, instantly hands it over to Isabel. Only because Isabel was right next to him. Well, let's give this one a uh, see if it's it does it have a code on it? He's typing it out. He's typing it yep. out. Give him a minute. You'll okay. see. Monk uh, is writing out our He's writing out writing out the instructions. Whatever this might be. So with the length it's taking, it's like a manifesto. No. Monk isn't communist enough for that. I don't think I'd be able to do my job and be a, and be a damn commie. I know. That's why I said it can't be a manifesto. Besides, it's bold of you to assume communists work. So check check the Secrecy chat and you will see it. Okay. What are we uh, supposed to be doing with this? Uh... uh. The password is eight digits, and the and I guess we have to find A, B, C, and D, and then put them in A, B, C, D. Problem is, there's eight, Problem is there's eight digits. digits. That only accounts for four. Not necessarily. All right. Every one the... of these numbers is two is a two digit number, and the two digit numbers um wow, fair point. Wow, fair point. could could split into smaller two digit yeah. numbers. So we have to find a, a situation where A plus B equals 37 and A plus C equals 43 and where A can satisfy both of the... Oh, it's algebra, guys. We're doing algebra. For the last fucking time, nobody said there'd be math. <laughs> you know what? I, I I'm happy that there's math. I want, no, I want to be in... I'm going to do this in character. As soon as, like... 
Isabel ran off the thing, you instantly he sees smoke coming out of Gar's brain because it has mm. nothing to do with beating people up or uh, engineering. At least in terms of uh, maintenance for like a bike or something like that. Tell you what, can Tell I just, what, roll, can a I just roll a knowledge roll, roll and see if I can figure, this, I can out figure this out without, without actually, actually having to solve Same. it? No. Damn it! Damn it! Run! Run! <laughs> <laughs> I think it's work. I think it's work. Okay, Bullshit, okay. right? Wait, hold on, guys, 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 hold on, hold on. A, A plus B and A plus C are going to be 2A plus B plus C equals 37 plus 43. And B plus C, B plus C equals, uh, equals 56. So if we take 2A plus B plus C equals 37 plus 43 and then subtract b plus c and 56 from those we'll get 2a and then divide a by 2 or divide by 2 to get a okay okay okay, See, okay. I, I, that... i'll show I'll, I'll write it out hold on 2a plus b plus c equals uh 37 plus 43 so that's the first that's the first part right okay give me a okay. minute i'm gonna type i'm gonna, I'm gonna, type, calculate, I'm gonna this. calculate this okay i mean it's 90 or i mean 80 but uh okay so, All like, right. 80, 80, 80 minus 56. Yep, 80 minus 56, and then divide by 2. 12. 12. So, A equals 12. There Which we go. B is 25. Which would make B 25 by process of elimination. It also makes uh, C... 31. Yup. Which means D... 31 minus 44. 75 is 44. 44. Yep. See, and who said you don't use math after school? Fuck y'all. <laughs> so what so what it so what's the password that you're going to be putting into the device? 12253144. Ding. Ah! Are you just uh Arya just snaps her fingers. Sometimes I even amaze myself. Uh, I'll, give you, uh, I'll give you credit. That was actually impressive. Good job. There's still smoke coming this coming off of Gar's head. This unlocks the boat. And now question: for did, this... did we did we find a manual at all for how to use these boats, as well? You di you found you found a pamphlet, and it simply says the boat. This boat can accommodate up to eight people, including one pilot. To move the boat, one must one must expend ma one must expend mana or utilize a mako stone. The um, the amount depends on the p the pier to which you wish to move, and it gives no it gives notes of the south pier and the west pier. When activated, the cockpit panel will display the destination pier option and the corresponding mana consumption. The pilot will select the destination pier and then grip the control stick, which will absorb MP, and the boat will automatically move toward the selected pier. If you try and move against the current, the MP consumption will increase. Well, given how we, well, saw, given the how we saw the flow of water in the pier, the pier that definitely means we're going to have to go against, against the current. To get to where we want to go. And it's it states the it states two options: South Pier three MP, West Pier six MP. I'll take that. Oh, well, we were going to the West Pier, correct, Kuya? Mm hmm. She not she nods. Well then, we have our destination. Who wants to grip the stick for fun? I'll do it. Just the right Art. height, too. All right. So Art. make sure to note that you've got um, six less MP. Not Gar. that it usually matters. Gar's right behind Alicia. Mm -hmm. Which means the and the boat the it's on a bit of a track before you before you guys head into the water. Got to get down into the pier somehow. And 
It is a good thing that you guys you guys did not try and um, risk the swim because even if you survived the drop, you can see that there's one other problem with it within the canal. What sort of mm -hmm. species are we talking? There's something in there, isn't there? Crocs. <laughs> no, as as they get into the water, Gar sees the some crocodiles going through. I don't need leather clothing right now. So, heading there. Well, as we leave, I say, in a while, crocodile. Uh, what side are we going? Are we going upstream or downstream? Upstream. 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 We're, go we're going... We're going we're going uh, here. here. We're going okay. to the to the, we're trying to get to the West Pier because that's near to the that's the way that Kuya wanted to go. This okay. does mean that you guys end up um passing the waterfall, so Um Gar instantly takes his jack his coat um, off and uses it to shield Alicia from the water. Um So monk. no wet wabbit <laughs> Monk sidebar for a second? Yep. I'm just going to DM it to you. Oh. And as you, as you continue onwards after everybody gets a bit, gets a bit of a soak. Okay. Thanks. But the pier is located is located at the north end of the bank of the underground canal. On the wall of the north side, there is a underpass leading up to the stairs up to the platform. You guys get off the boat, get on the platform. Oh. And 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 head short and head up to the west station a platform built around the railroad tracks le leading east and west however the track to the west has been cut off because it was caught in a cave-in and on the north side of the platform there's a staircase it's basically the same as the as the as the east platform in terms of how it's set up um and as you get as you guys head eastward to the front of the train depot that is where we are going to take 10 all right folks you heard all it right. here uh get some drinks get some snackage use the uh little ladies room or the little gents room if you need to we will see you in 10 and uh shades and I are going to go grab supper so be back soon
Mm-hmm. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Also, also, forgive me if you hear me eating while talking, because uh, dinner is currently in front of me right now, and I am fucking starving. Mm-hmm. Guess who's back? Back again. <laughs> <laughs> Unintentional perfect timing. That was a solid seven or eight on the scale, dear. Excuse me, oh my goodness. <laughs> like, hey, perfect timing, even if unintentional. Mm-hmm. But... On the... Continuing on, you get at, on the north side of the confluence of the railroad line, which continues to the that continues to the west of the boundary and the narrow line that crosses the railway bridge to the south. There's a double opening door made of manatite steel plate that's tightly closed. There's but you all see a bunch of barbarous at the front of the door trying to break through it with Magitech, but they seem to be on the lookout now due to the sudden disappear due to the um whole thing with the waterfall. Uh, though what you do notice is that they is that they are attempting to set up bombs. Basically, they're trying to blow the they're trying to blow the door open the old fashioned way. I guess Wait, thinking that what? the only reason nobody's tried that is because they didn't have enough bombs. Oh shit! Someone well, this is the bomb. No, I'm cutting that one off. No, is a bow down. But uh, I mean. I don't think enough bombs would have blown open the big door to the, this place. Regardless, um, do they notice us already since they're already on the lookout? Or are we still somewhat out of sight? You are, uh, you are out, of, you're out of sight right now. Okay. So what are they using for the bombs? Are they just like standard gunpowder type bombs or is it something else? Um they look they it it looks like some it looks like somebody rigged up a bunch of grenades into a bag. Boy, it'd be a shame if somebody shot them with uh something that was uh fiery. It would be a shame. I, I guess somebody's gonna have to do that. Do it. Do it now! <laughs> Do you need assistance? Uh, well, before we do that, I'm going to uh, pull up the targeting site uh, spell with uh, one of my uh, magic spheres, so I get the bonus. And then we're going to uh, do an elemental bullet on that. As you do, as you do the the thing, the thing ends up exploding. It doesn't. It doesn't do much. In the, it doesn't do a whole lot in the way of damage. But what it does do is confuse them, because you know, because you know, it's just a. It's a, It's like they. They set up. They set up twelve or so fr- um, frag and flash grenades into into one giant bag. They Wait. used frag and flash. Wow, that was stupid in there. It didn't work. Yeah, blinded them and fragged them at the same time. That sounds really smart on their part. So, because of that, this. D- John, what time is it? It is once again combat time! And first off, let, let me reset the initiative order. Uh, I'm not having you guys re roll. Because. You guys are getting a surprise round. Alright. Still part of the preparation round. I'm going alternate form. Mm-hmm. 
Whew, excuse me. Same. So, uh, Garu, you are up first. Alicia's geograph is deployed, by the by. Mm hmm. Give me a sec. Uh, well, I'm keeping the targeting side out, so. Giant arms. All right. All right, let me... Giant arms, so that's... Another plus 12. As well as... Uh, Beal skin. So that's plus two defense. And then following that, I feel like throwing something. Let, because I feel like mm, throwing this guy right here. You ping it again. I'm going for the center and throwing it. All right, all right. Roll for it. Oh, that definitely hits. So, roll for damage. So, that's a total of 10 damage. Beep, beep, beep. And you've and remember chain attack, so you've got one more attack. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I'm gonna hit with a chain stick. Same bugger. All right. Oh, that's the wrong one. Yeah, that hits. Mm. Want me to re-roll the damage? Yes. <laughs> Just shy of crit, but that's still... But that's a lot of damage. To a point... But that's Gar a you lot see of Gar damage. You see Gar spring forward, grab it, throws it over his shoulder before grabbing the chain stick and slamming it on the head, just cracking it, up, shattering it. Mm -hmm. As you see sparks coming out, and, and it deactivates. Yeah, because it, yeah, it did. So as as you finish wrestling a machine, right. Azrol, you are up. All right, all right. Uh, and for this one, of course, this always, one, of course, surging, always offense. surging offense. However, however, instead of lighting up the weapon, up the weapon this time, because I don't think it's gonna work as well this time, time forward. forward. I instead think it's time we, uh, you know, they're, they're, you know, they're, they're already confused. Let's keep, Let's them, keep locked them locked into place so, they so that they can't fight. keep fighting. As you see, as my, you see uh, my, uh, a kind of a yellowish glow to my, uh, to my orbs, you suddenly see, you suddenly see a cloud appear from, from them and float over, over towards all three of, all them, three of them as I activate as Stun I Cloud. Ooh. 
this this little this little created poisonous cloud which will paralyze creatures in the target area, preventing them from declaring any active combat feats and taking away any minor actions. So, question. You can. This is this is a. This is a. This is a. Um. Air, this is a. Um. Single area spell. So you can either aim at frontline or rear guard. You can't do both. Uh, at, this point, uh, at this point, we'll focus on we'll the bay guy in a little, little bit. bit. We know the guys in the front are the ones that are probably going to be a bigger threat, threat for now. now. So, so let's go ahead and do the front front, let's do the front guard. All right. So roll magic power. Sixteen. Okay, that hits the cutting torches. Now let me see about the bulg. Oh, that also hits him. <laughs> so both of them can't use their minor actions and can't use combat feats. And that is going to be for three rounds. That should help out. That should help out. Now, for the golem, for, 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 for my golems. All right. All right. We're gonna focus. We're gonna focus. I'm gonna focus on I'm this gonna focus guy, on for, this both guy for both attacks. The cutting torches. The cutting torches. So first attack. Mm -hmm. First attack. Ten. Ten. Ten versus the cutting torches. Uh. Well, whether if you whether you hit left side or right side, that's still a miss. Yeah, yeah that's what I thought. All right, try again, All right, with, try the again with the other guy. Fifteen. Fifteen. That's, that's better. So fifteen against the bulg. That hits. Roll damage. All right. then. Fifteen. Fifteen. So twelve damage. And that that's it for the loam puppets. Yeah, that's it for yeah, me. That's so it for I'll me, right so back. I will be right back. Yep. So Isabo, you're up next. Alrighty. Uh I can't even see the name on the one on the back, so Um, Andro Scorpion. Oh, bug? Okay. Uh then there's only one solution for that fire. Uh we're getting an elemental bullet. So you're choosing fire damage. Indeed, I am. M Monk, um, what what Neff was saying is that we can't see the nameplate or the status bars for that token. Fucking roll twenty, man. I thought I had the. I thought I had that set. I'd also like to ask, um, Isabeau. Yes. Up, upper or lower? Um, Antra Scorpion has two sections. Mm-hmm. Uh, the uh, part... Oh, okay, so it's basically a sor uh, scorpion tour. Lower yeah. torsion. <clears throat> the part that looks like a scorpion. All right, all right. So let me... I'm back, by the way. Welcome, Welcome back. back. So, let's 
So yeah, that hit. That hits. So ro so roll roll damage. Only twelve. Darn it. Is that twelve plus magic magic power? Yeah, that's including it. All right, only twelve damage versus. So seven damage total. Um, and it, I don't know what's going on with those nameplates and status bars on that one, though, Monk. It's just not showing up. It's a token properties issue. Oh, boy. Hopefully now you can see it. Let me check. Nope. Nope. None of us can see the Andro Scorpion's uh, nameplate or status bars. How about now? No. Nope. Still no. Negative, Captain. Negative, Ghost Rider. Oh, there we go. That did it. Hey! Yay! Yeah, this is a problem with Roll20 sometimes. It can be fickle. Mm -hmm. Now we see it. Nev put Kermit down. Kermit, you're short and green. <laughs> so you did seven damage to his lower half. Away. I don't have a means to show both upper and lower da lower damage on this. Yeah. The only way to do it would be to double up on tokens, but that'd be annoying. Hmm. And I don't feel like doing the multiple token thing that Trevor did all those years ago. I mean, it was fun. I liked doing it. I just understand that that's tedious. But I think that's all of Neff's turn. Mm -hmm. So, Dax, you are up. Okay. Eeny, meeny, miny, you. How would you like your legs broken? I'm using snare. On who? The bulg. He indicated the bulg. Yeah. All right. So roll magic power. <laughs> oh. Well, the odds are roll the other side. Yeah, so he through to the other side. Now I've got friends on the He other is side. prone. <laughs> Alrighty then. And he is going mm. Unless you're gonna use one of your invocations that um that's it for major actions. That's what I was gonna do. I was gonna use armor rust on it. Um also make sure that you're putting in you're accounting for your M your um, MP costs. Yeah. So, let's see, I armor. got. I, I I got a good question. Shoot. Uh. Why does Daxter's nameplate show that he has? 18 HP and 28 MP when his character sheet shows that he has 32 and 40 respectively. That's weird. His token isn't updating the maxes. And thus isn't matching his his uh, character sheet. It, 
Everybody else's are, just not his. That is because, for whatever reason, the MP HP and MP part didn't save properly. That'll do it. I was like, wait a minute, which, Jax isn't that squishy, not anymore. Which means... There we go, it's updated. Mm-hmm. So, since uh, with Armor Rust, what grade of black card are you going to use? I will be using... I'll be using one of my S card. I'll be using one of my S cards. Do you have an A card? Because he only has three defense. Uh, Yeah. All right, make sure to note that you're using an a a black card. Yep. He has Which a lot means... of black cards, so. Mm -hmm. Which means for the next six rounds, he has zero defense. Go crazy, everybody. <laughs> who, who, which one? The Bulg. Oh. Well, yeah, the Bulg. Resistance is futile. I mean, it probably should have been put on the Cutting Torches or the Scorpion since they're unharmed. Well, you can you there's nothing that's there's nothing that says you can't use multiple evoc multiple evocations in the same round. This is true. Depends on if he wants to spend the card for it. Yep. Mm -hmm. But that's... And I do have and I do have the card for it. Yeah, I know how many black cards you have. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, Coops, that... yeah. Coops, you've been saving? Oh, I've been saving. Plus, there were a lot of things that gave him both black and white cards in the last adventure, so... Yeah, no yeah shit. exactly, so... Jesus, I just saw! What uh, the heck? I'll use another Armorist on the Scorpion. Which grade? I'll just use my last black A. He'll use his last black ass. <laughs> hey, yeah. All right. So Ooh. is is that aiming against the upper or lower body? Uh, I'm gonna aim it at the upper body. All right. Hmm. Let me put a notification there. All right. So, Alicia, you are up. All right. Okie dokie. I finally get to have some fun. Yay! Somebody closed up my character sheet. There we go. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I've got 30 MP to play with here. Among other things. Well, I've only got one of each chi available to me at the moment, and I want to... I, I want to wanna build that up just a little bit. Mm-hmm. So, to start, let me get back to uh, this. Do uh, as I normally do. I'm going to use Wing Flyer on both Arya and Garu. So now we fly. Well, not only that, but you gain a plus one to all accuracy checks for melee attacks and all evasion checks. Mm hmm. So it's minus six. Let's see to to Arya. 
I am also going to use do, 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 do. Hmm, let's see level five. Uh multiple actor giant crab. Which means you'll get a double attack. Mm-hmm. So it's minus another ten. And let's see. Do, 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 do. I'm going to go ahead and use a uh, freezing breath. Come on. And I'm going to use it on this guy. Didn't see the ping. Cutting torches. Right. the cutting torches. Mm -hmm. All right, freezing breath. So roll magic power for druid. Oh crap! Now well, you got it. Nineteen. Well, no, I forgot to change it from Lady K to Alicia. Ah. Uh. Still shows you rolling as Alicia. Yeah. So, uh, so. 19. Oh, yeah, that hits. So, power, tw so roll power 20. Plus. And you know, you know how this works. Yep. Crit value 10. 18 damage. So that's 15 damage. Is that going to its left side or right side? Uh, let's do the left. Alright. So it's at it's at 7 HP. Okay. And that's about all I can do for the moment. All right. I believe that makes it my turn. It does. Yes, it does. Alrighty then. Okay, thank you for all the fun spells on me. You're That's very nice. Welcome. So, the first thing Alicia is going to do, and this will eventually combo into a multi action. I'm just declaring that now. Alicia? Uh, or not Alicia, Aria. But thank you. Brain is not quite braining anymore today. Uh, Arya is going to, to, first of all, cast lightning at this entire group of things. We've got a, we've got a mechanical bo a boy. Lightning is good. Lightning is very good. All right. Yep. So roll magic power. Y'all, give me a second. I was opening it up just to make sure that I knew what was going on in the first place. That is a 20. Oh, yeah, that hits. <laughs> yep. And so now I roll a power 20 plus magic power with a crit threshold of 10. Yes. All right. So all of these bastards suffer 12 damage minus whatever their um, particular defenses are. And anything that has multi-sections, that's both multi-sections, so... So in that in that case, would are we talking all in front line, all in rear guard, or all or all period? 
all period. It's a uh, it's a range of two of two zones. So it hits everything in the zone in front of me and the zone behind that. Yep. All right. So in that case, and that and that's hitting both. That's hitting all um, parts for those all sections for those with sections. Yes. It it, it hits everything in the area. <laughs> this is why I did this. All right. So. <clears throat> So the right side of that cutting torch is dead. Okay. Or do you mean the left side? Because wasn't it the left side that... Uh, yeah, it was the hit? left side I took. Yeah. So the left side goes kablooey, and the right side's all that remains. Yep. Okay. That's nice and fun. Mm-hmm. All right. So... Along with that, um, Arya is first. Since I, uh, since I didn't get any uh, fire cast on my weapon, that's fine. Instead, Arya is going to use monster knowledge on the Andro Scorpion. Because hold, on, actually, hold on a minute. You said all the enemies uh, got hit, right? Uh, no, 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 damage. No, 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 damage. The, Borg's the Borg's dead. Or the Borg's dead. Or the Borg's dead. Yep. Um, oh, yeah, well, it is. I, I zapped that to nothing. Yeah. Um, yeah. the, 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 as, as as the line of, of lightning goes across, blowing off one of the the cutting torch arms and hitting and hitting that bull, the bull's body just kind of pops like something that's been cooked in a microwave for too long. Before finally hitting the scorpion and kind of pissing it off a little. Mm -hmm. Um. So that's a thing. Uh, so which, which were you targeting with monster knowledge? The Andrew Scorpion. All right, uh, roll it. Well, you know it's an Andrew Scorpion. You know that they tend to have poison in their t in their tails. You also can note that this one is cap is capable of using firearms and is capable of using magitech. So that guy in the back can shoot us. Cast magitech spells. And poison us. Everyone be careful. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. Trying, to Trying to copy me now, now huh? Oh, I, take offense, I take offense to that. To that. I'm sure Isabel is sure the, the same. And then, of course, because, like I said, because none of my weapons are currently affected by any upgrade magic, I'm just going to swap out the, the giant fuck-off sword for the giant fuck-off axe stick. <laughs> I am now wielding the, uh, the halberd, which mm -hmm. is two minor actions to do so, so it's free. <laughs> just, just fucking free. Um, and I'm going to use my first attack on Big Stompy and Dumb. That's uh, on the Cutting Torch's remaining side. And that hits... Okay, let's roll that damage. Eighteen damage minus its defense. <laughs> A perfect zero. <laughs> so my first hit goes out, but I can't move to the re the enemy's rear guard to hit the next guy. Are you going to GM Fiat and say that Giant Crab is still active until next round? Yes. Okay. I would have understood if you'd said no. That would that. But okay, so the I will. Rules as written, GM would say no. I know. I know. Or I also so, would have understood. Or, uh, oh, or the kind of person who th who thinks that Thaco is the gold standard would say no. <laughs> I figured you. I figured you might just say no because I asked, and that would have been fair. No, because, this is, because one, this is more fun, and two, and two, do I look like I live in an ivory tower? No, no, you don't. No, but you look like someone who still gets off on torturing us. No, no, you don't live in an ivory tower. You live in an ivory uh, monastery. Bless no, you. no, it's an ebony monastery. Ebony oh, Ivory. <laughs> he got it. Oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. I was waiting for his response. 
Yeah, I was waiting for it as well. Okay, so um, let me see. Do I have any other minor actions I want to do? Let me check if there was anything else. Um, oh, I did want to say that I used the Mako Stone to pay for that lightning, so that's a thing. Um, but beyond that, uh, yeah, I don't have anything else to do. I'm done. All right. All right. Which means it's the Andrew Scorpion's turn. Uh, isn't this the uh, first surprise the round? round? That's correct. Which so means it's our it's... turn again. Yep. Which means it's back to Garu. Mm -hmm. The real question is how can any of the frontliners hit uh, the Andrew Scorpion in the rear guard? <laughs> Throw the golem. <laughs> You can you can move you can take an action to move between zones. It's a major action though, isn't it? Uh let me gr let me double check on that in simplified combat, which unfortunately is not on the wiki. I'm checking core 1 right now. Throw the golem. Uh, hmm. You know how much I spent on to things. get these things. I'm not wasting, I'm not my, wasting money like my money like that. Gar crouches down, getting ready for the to have the golem throw him, so he can do a flying kick at him. You put my you golem put my down, golem yeah. down, or I take this. No, I'm saying. Your head. No, I'm saying the. No, 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 Azul. Oh. I'm ha I'm gonna have the golem throw me. Move movement is its own is its own thing. Yeah. Um. The only thing, the only thing is, if you do a, if you could do it as a normal move, um, if you move normal, the only thing that changes is you can't use um, magic or ranged magic. attacks. Yep. Yep. I uh, I see that. So first off, and you have to, and you have to do movement before you do a major action. That's the other one. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Gar is moving. And as he moves forward, he's going to do... He's getting his giant arms back, while also counting Beal skin and Gazelle feet. All right. Wait, why there. are you casting beat why are you casting beetle skin again? Let's see. Yeah, is that three is that three three It's okay, thirty three seconds. rounds. Thir three rounds. Okay. I thought it was you, one round. I thought it was a ten se second one. You'd and as far and as far although um giant arms you no longer have, so let me adjust your strength. So as, so I believe the only thing left would be your major action, unless there's some other minors you wanted to do. Well, let's go, uh, since I call, I, okay, you, we already had the initial tw 12 from Beast Form, and then the Giant Arms, which I said I was going to do again. Gazelle, which is plus one invasion. Other than that, feel like punching a scorpion. All right. Upper or lower? Upper. The up. Since upper is what currently has its defense reduced, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. So. Rolling! Oh, 
Oh, Remember that he has plus one evasion and accuracy from uh, wing flyer and plus one from gazelle feet. All right. So and you and you're attacking upper. Yep. All right. That hits. So roll. So roll damage. this so that's alright all right. and because of chain attack you've got one more in you okay uh, let's Second verse, same as the first. <laughs> oh, that hits. Oh, that hits. Yep, roll damage. Oh, ten damage. So, as roll, you are up next. Then, well, since I've already cast the first round, round I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the surging offense to whirlwind. whirlwind. Increase the accuracy and damage. And so make, uh, make sure to account for that. And, uh, and uh, I have to, I have to thank Ari over here for confirming that they, confirming use, that magic they use magic tech spells. spells. Because that tells me, what, that I tells me what I need to do next. Using my own, Using power, my own against power against me? I think, I not. think not. Forbid magic. Forbid magic. All right, so, and roll, roll uh, magic power. That ties ties go to ties go to the effect to the offense, so he cannot use Magitek spells for three rounds, <laughs> or rather, he can't use level three or lower spells. His le his level of magic attack is level four, so he could use his fourth level spells. But it's only if he gets his turn. <laughs> One, that's only if he gets his turn. Two, um, there's not a, there's not a whole lot of options in fourth level that would really help him. So, so yeah, he's neutered. Yeah, he's neutered. <laughs> So net. So next would be Isabeau. Well, what about Azrael's puppets? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, right. Yeah. Gotta get the puppets to turn. Gotta get the puppets what they want. <laughs> so I'm guessing. <laughs> I'm guessing the puppets are going to be moving to the rear to his rear guard. Yeah. Yeah. And. Smash? Of course, smash. Of course, smash. That's all I can do. All right. All right. We'll focus on the we'll upper body. On the upper that body because that one's already weakened. Mm -hmm. Woo! Woo! Nope. Don't need. Don't need to check evasion for that. <laughs> nope. Nope. So damage for that. So damage for that. Ten. Ten. All right. So that's gonna be. Minus seven after his defense. Actually, isn't his defense broken, or is it the lower body? Well, no, uh, it's not fully broken. What Armor Rust does is just reduce defense. His defense is reduced by the grade of the card. The grade that uh, 
Coops used was A, so it's minus three to his total defenses. The reason the bulb was at zero was because he only has three defense to begin with. Fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. Double check it. Double check. Double You're welcome. Check it. All right. All right. Now for the other one. Now for the other one. Ugh, 11. Ugh, 11. I think that's a miss. Oh, yeah, that oh. is. Uh, and, uh, and of course, that's of course, not counting that's for, not counting uh, for uh, whirlwind, so, whirlwind, so that would make it actually 12, 12, I think. I think that's still a miss? Yeah. All right. I'd have to check core rulebook too to check to see for sure. Yep. But Isabeau, you are now up. Let's do what we did last time. Same thing. We're going to shoot the lower body with fire. Give it the hot foot. And remember, there is a plus one from my uh, targeting site. Hot so fifteen, that hits. It's actually a sixteen because of the plus one yep. from the stratagem as well. Mm -hmm. Shoot the leg. My leg. Which leg? Yes. So, roll damage. 14, so that's 9 damage. 9, 9, 9! No, it's 9 on the lower body, Monk. Whoops. All right. So, Dax, you are up. I can do that. All right. Um, uh, 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 I'm going to use Firebolt. All right, then. Quick question for you. Why are you using fire bolt instead of fire arrow? Or flame arrow, I should say. Wait, I have that now? You're, yeah. You're fairy magic level 5, bruh. Oh shit, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Happy to help, Coops. <laughs> Alright, yeah. I'll just use flame arrow instead. Um... If I can, if I can offer a, a um, a no, another potential example. Mm. He has a gun. Guns are made of metal. Ah, uh, keep metal. Yeah. <laughs> yep. 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 <laughs> well, um, mom, monkey can't use heat metal. Why not? Range area Wait. touch. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yeah, I can't do it. Nope. All right, fair. But, but he can do because I, I I actually cited the wrong level. He's he's fairy tamer six. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, he can do a uh, fire arrow because fire arrow would be a pretty good um pretty good. The flame arrow would do some pretty. I, I would imagine some pretty good damage. But he could also do so something would, like um, stone so, blast. so would stone blast. Yeah, I was I was I was gonna say he could do flame arrow. He could do stone blast. Um, they both they both do the same thing. It's instant uh, one target um, twenty power twenty plus magic power twenty plus magic power damage. It's just difference of elemental. Mm -hmm. So it really depends on what element he wants to use, earth or fire. I'm using fire. All right. Kudem <sighs> ero. So roll magic power. Hold on. If if we're gonna if we're gonna do this right, if we're gonna do this right. Um, flame arrow. Everybody should know it by another name if they've ever watched this anime. <clears throat> oh no, whoa, no, yeah! <laughs> Hello, Magic Knights Ray Earth. Hello, Hikaru. Yeah, that's that's, that's literally what it is. Arrow of mm -hmm. Fire. Oh no, no, yeah! I'm sorry, the only spell that I uh, instantly recognize is uh, Dragon Slave. Uh, uh...
If it doesn't take out half the battlefield, it's not worthy of a spell. So that hits. So roll damage. Wait, did he choose top or bottom? Oh yeah, top or bot, top or bottom. Uh, top. All right. All right. Let me see. Flame arrow. That's uh, power twenty. Plus magic power. Yep. With a normal crit range of ten, so. This won't be like last time if you roll box if you roll a ten. Wait, hold up. Also, Neff. Uh, also, Neff. Uh, if, spell's you, if a spell's not taking out half the battle, it's not good enough for you. How very mega mean of you? Explosion. <clears throat> but I'm gonna do this right. Tasogare yori mo kuraki mono, chino nagare yori akaki mono, toki no nagare ni umoreshi, idai naru nanji no ni a nani ote. Ware koko ni yami ni chikawan, ware da gamae ni tachi fusa garishi, tsubete no ora kanaru mono ni, ware to nanji ka chikara mote, kitoshiku o horobi o atayen koto o dragu slave. <laughs> there you go. That makes me feel much better inside. The dragon right. slave. There you go. I could also do the giga slave, but that will be for another time. So that is 14 damage total. <laughs> Which means, Alicia, you are up. Alrighty. Well, first things first, I'm going to restore some uh, MP. Which means I'm going to use both my Mako stones. Which means I'm going to get an 13 back, so it's going to put me at 24. And I've got to double check something really quick. Come on. Remember that for rule of cool, monk, uh, monk let me keep a uh, giant crab. Since yeah, I killed my, the, uh, uh, my the turn's getting ready to end, though. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm still I'm still letting him keep it for okay. his next action. Okay. He's letting me keep it for rule of cool. Gotcha. Since I killed something with only one hit of it. Gotcha. Alrighty. Well, that takes a little bit off my back then. Do nobody has taken any hit points, so that works for me. I mean, that's probably because of a uh, the fact that we got them so fucked on the surprise round. Yep. Yeah, we... yeah it's a shame that they blew up or something blew up in their faces. <laughs> Let's see. Well, it looks like I'm using freezing breath again. Uh, do I need to uh, re up a uh, wing flyer, or is that good for another couple rounds? Uh, let me check. I'm, I've got it up right now. Uh, Ten seconds to one round. So I'm gonna re up uh, wing flyer too. Ah, crap! I can only re up it on uh, Arya though. Because Garu is out of range. Yep. Range one target. So either the, the your own area or one area away. 
All right, sorry, Garu. <laughs> All right, so that's for Wing mm. Flyer. And I'm going to use Ice Breath again. So that's another five. And of course, I'm going for this guy. I'm going to do it on the upper. Rolling magic power. 16. So, 16. That hits. Alrighty. Eighteen damage, minus his defense. Against, against upper body. Upper body. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. He, he is completely frozen. Rip and piss. You won't be missed. All right. So, first things first, something to keep in mind for later as you examine what, what was left over. <laughs> um, he was enhanced with five sword shards. Okay, we'll get that into the inventory now. Oof! Can we get to it, considering he was frozen solid? The sword shards can be drawn out magically, don't worry. Mm -hmm. um, so, now it's time for the loot table. On it! Oh. <laughs> All right, first roll, 2d6. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Six. All right, so that is... So far, and... So that it that is going to be for the cutting torches. And I'm go I'm going to All right. So you found some iron and you found some crude magitech components. So Ooh. Oops. Give give yourself one black and one white A card. Okay. Uh. So roll don't again. Mat <clears throat> don't matter if it's black or white. Saw that one coming. Ow! Wrong song, Rick. <laughs> right artist, I, though. I, I knew it was the wrong song. However, anytime I hear this this squeal of Michael Jackson, the first thing that happens is the opening notes for Smooth Criminal. That's a Dave. This is twice in a single time. Why must you make my, life, you make my life difficult, Dave? Dave! Dave! You can just deal with thing, move on. <laughs> it's Michael Jackson. If you have a problem with that corner, we have a no. We have a problem with you getting it wrong. <laughs> but I was referring to a different song. You don't like it too bad. Rails. Roll again. Two d six coming up. Ouch. Hey guys. Hey guys. Oh, that's so 50 for XP that. for uh, Alicia. Mm -hmm. But aside from that, you don't you don't get anything from the bulg. So now for the Andro Scorpion. All right. Seven. A poison stinger with its sack intact. So, Coops, give yourself a red A card. And one more. One more. Seven. Seven. I'm re-rolling that one. Just to see if Arya can do a little bit better. Nope. Three nope. sevens? Hey, triple sevens. We should just get the 12, the 12 score. Mm -hmm. um, see, that's an... 
<laughs> Why is... Jackpot? I mean, seven is the most common, or the most statistically common number for a six-sided die, so... Or a pair of six-sided die, so... Yeah. So, also... I, oh, so, that's another... Um, black, that's another black and white A card for um, Coops, as well as two black B cards. <sighs> so let me move you guys over to the ruins. He has five sword shards. This area is vast, measuring 25 meters in width and 100 meters in depth. Uh, we're still, it uh, used to we're be still a... on the battle screen. You shouldn't be. Oh, never mind. <laughs> layers. Gotta love layers. There we go. There we go. The, the area in this is vast, measuring 25 meters wide and 100 meters deep. It appears that this was a place for vehicle repairs and inspections, but now only two cars remain in this large space. One of them is a railway cannon, which would have been a significant threat if the Barbarous were to get it. Shvera Gustav, is that you? The other is a special rail car that can restore track deformation. If another rail car with the same capabilities can be built, it will surely help maintain the network of lines that Kingsley is expanding. Kuya bows and simply says, the emergency signal has been issued has been issued as the Barbarous were attempting to break down the door. The signal has now ceased. I appreciate your assistance. Thank you very much for your cooperation. It's not a problem, it's at, not all. A problem at all. I will warn, I will you, warn you that other people from, other people from, our, from, our, from our guild, guild and, others and others will probably be coming down here soon to uh, take a look at this stuff. Looking at, this Looking at this, these trails, it could be valuable technology. technology. I that posted. is understandable. I posted a picture of the uh, railway cannon in a uh, in Sacricity, by the way. Oof! Like I said, Shiver Gustav, is that you? Mm -hmm. It needs to be bigger, yes. And he, even if they couldn't get it off the rails, get get enough get enough bar get enough bigger barbarous, and you could probably just take the cannon off. And even if you couldn't, that's a lot of metal that can be stripped for parts. Mm -hmm. You know, there are still parts of this place we haven't looked through. Mm -hmm. We were asked to survey the entire ruins. So, are you guys going to be heading south? Uh, sounds like the best bet, but we should probably get back on the boat. Unless Why? That water, Unless that, water, that, waterfall, that, that waterfall covers the whole area, the whole area. we're, we're not, not getting through boat. that without the boat. Mm -hmm. So that w you do see the se the same direct the same directions, um, and it it states the the method to get to the to the south p the south pier will cost five MP. I'll cover it this. I'll time. cover it this time. All right. So after getting on the boat and going through, go, and ha having to get another soak. Garu once again uses his jacket to cover Alicia so she doesn't get wet. Mm -hmm. You guys arrive at the at the south pier. It's on, which is on the west bank of an, of the underground canal that runs north south. You can see the viaduct built above the canal when standing on the bridge. On the west side is an entrance to an underground passageway. And of course, much like the other 
docks, that, much like the other piers, there's a spot to moor the boat. Which right. leads you to the west platform, which is built around the north-south line. But the track further south has been cut off due to a cave-in. Going up, going up the staircase, you come, you come, you come right back to where the the top of it is. Let's follow the tracks north again. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. That's what you can do. That's what you can do. Which will event you do pass a waterfall, but this isn't like the big waterfall, it's just a smaller one. Oh. More which evidence of wear and tear. Mm hmm Which leads you to another waiting area. And another door on the on the south wall, but this one is closed. Who wants to bet that this one is as trapped as the one to the boathouse? Probably. Still with, us? still with us? Oh, she she's at the train she's at the train depot. So we uh we still have the the keys of unlocking that we didn't use for other places though. So mm -hmm. I just approach and use the key of unlocking on the door. Yep, and the thing on the door unlocks. So, so how many is that left? Five. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Which leads you to the security office. A small room, about five square meters in size. Numerous red rays, presumably from the, one of the security systems, are emitting from the ceiling and walls. The room has metal doors on each of the three walls, north, south, and west. The door to the north is the one you came in from. The south wall is currently shut. There's a panel with a blinking red screen. The, west wall is t the door on the west wall is tightly closed. Why do I hear Mission Impossible music? <laughs> and you, far... you too. <laughs> and as far as the, if you now, if you want to try and get to any of the doors without touching the red rays, which will cause um, energy damage, it is it it would be rolling movement. Uh, uh, Alicia is staying at, still. Looking, looking at the the whole room, Arya notices that the only thing drawing our attention is the panel, and that the other doors are closed. So Arya is just going to say, "Whoever's going to go, go for that panel over there," pointing at the panel next to the south door. What's everyone's movement? Five. It, it, Five. Uh, but first page. Oh, it's gonna be scout plus agility modifier, or rider plus agility modifier, usually, or ranger plus agility modifier. Or in this case, geomancer. <laughs> All of those. E. Oh, so you say rider plus agility modifier? I mean, that's probably where you're getting your your five from. Alright, I don't have no movement. Never mind. Yep. Modifier. But yeah, I, I, but yeah, I, agree. I, I agree. Could I invest? Could I invest? Would, I be, would I be able to use knowledge to investigate that panel, to see if I can anything. recognize anything? You can tr Um, you can try. Knowledge. Oh, knowledge. Fourteen. Fourteen. And it looks to. As your best guess, if, if somebody can get to that panel and, and touch it, they'd be able to turn off the um, rays. Yes, I agree yes, with I agree with, with, I Audia. Agree with Audia. Whoever's the fastest, Whoever's the fastest needs, to that needs to get to that panel immediately. That, bu that, that, bu that, that, that one button there would actually turn actually off the rays, so, rays. so if forward, you want to move forward, best that's best our bet. best bet. So 
So I think the only three people with movement scores are Isabeau, Garu, and uh, Alicia. Shit. Isabeau, what's your movement score? Lower than talking... I, either you or, um, or Garu's. Yeah, Isabel looks like it's lower, so it's either going to you or me. Ah, crap. Uh, Gar puts, Gar puts Alicia down, takes off the, the basically any equipment he has. It's like that could get in the way, like his pack and stuff. Yep. Okay. And let's see. That would be agility. Let me double check one thing quickly. You can just roll the movement. No, it's not that. I am double... Even though I highly doubt it, I'm double checking Gazelle feet. Because I know it says invasion, but... So that would affect the agility. I'm wrong. No. Okay. Well. Here it goes. You just barely managed to do it. <laughs> and because ju just as you, because your tail only lightly touched one of them, and um, you kind of wish it didn't. Singed off some hairs, mate, mate sting a little. You see him go, you see him go, he dives over and is millimeters between his body and the lasers. And just as he thinks he clears it, the tail in excitement wags up, touches it. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Now's not the Now's time, not to, get the time to get excited, you damn wolf! And then you Somebody see told him, him there were bones over there. <laughs> and then as he lands, lands, you see him shut off the... You see him touch the panel to shut it off. All while giving the middle finger to Azul. Mm -hmm. Don't be mad Don't at me be because, mad you're, the me because you're the one that hurt yourself, yourself, yourself you damn dog. And so it gives him, it gives him the fist. <laughs> I and then it then says, "Go in a gear, you." So the good news is you managed to disable, you managed to disable the rays. The bad news is is that when you. When you approach the doors, they're locked. I mean, we have keys of unlocking that we can use on them still. Yeah, we still got five. So I suggest we choose a door and and, and choose a key. Hold on. Do the door. Let me check something. Observation, observation. I mean, let's just go south since that's where the panel was. Yeah, but... yeah, that was probably guarding something. All right. Yep. That's that's one key. That's one key used. Yep. Okay. And so. Uh... Yep. Let's see. The room that you en that you enter into is about five square meters. It contains several shells, each of which currently holds only one em wooden box, as they're almost empty. Okay. Let's check the boxes. In the box, you find four five-point Mako stones, two plus two moonlight charms, and two plus two sunlight charms. Damn, uh, charming. Those are the. Hold on, I'm gonna check that real quick. Uh. Okay, so those are it. Consumable adventuring tools, technically. Mm -hmm. um, bonus to willpower and fortitude. Uh, if you use them. And... Okay. And then you said uh, four five-point Mako stones? Mm -hmm. Okay, I will note those. We can distribute these... These will be useful. We can distribute them as needed, or sell them if we don't. I 
see no problem. Well, I see no problem either way. Uh, it's not like not we're like not like the valuable. super valuable. I mean, uh, out of character, John, a plus two, um, moonlight or sunlight charm is five thousand gamels. I was more referring to the Mako stones. I mean, Mako stones at they they're priced based on uh, how many points they have, but yeah. Mako stones are probably a little less. I'm just saying that we have all this stuff. Arms plus yeah, two. Was... Sunlight charms plus two. Okay. Those are marked. Mm -hmm. This is a nice little treasure corner out of the way. What about the other door? Well, the other door is also locked. Key. All right. So now we're down to three keys of unlocking. Mm -hmm. Which leads you to the next room. A hall that's about five meters deep and ten meters wide. It's lined with several consoles, control panels, screens, and other Magitech equipment. Some of the panels and screens are tarnished but still operational. There's metal doors on both the east and west hall walls of the hall. The door slightly north of the east wall is the one you just entered through. A large opening door is located slightly south of the rest west wall, but is tightly closed. Okay. So, this place looks to be important. Yeah, so I say we yeah, take a look, around, we take a look around before we go forward. Idea what these I panels just, are about. Yeah, I want to look at all of the panels. Alright. Uh, at least he's going to roll observation. I mean, I assume the panels are in normal common. Oh, yeah. nice! Very cool. Box cars. It mainly shows a map. A, um, a map a map of the air, of the area as well as the status of the security system which is already shut down okay anything else that's about it though the though the fact that th that some of the panels are still operational it, in itself is a miracle okay and then there's another door to our west yes Yep, which is uh, which is locked. Key. We're down to two keys, but I don't think that's going to matter. Mm -hmm. Which leads you into the magic reactor room. This is a spacious room measuring 15 meters deep and 10 meters wide, with a ceiling that's 10 meters in height. At the center of the room stands a massive, black, oval-shaped magical device, anchored in place by steel arms extending from the walls on each side. Flanking the oval-shaped device are egg-shaped magical devices on the ceiling and floor. The room is guarded by two security magitechs who move to attack any invaders. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, more fighting. Hooray. So for the third time tonight. Are we going to have enough time? Oh, yeah. Yeah? All right, well, All right, we've got well, time, we've got time, time and I guess it's time. combat time. Um, I don't know about me. Um, I would like to note that there is the option to do um, monster knowledge as part of preparation as well. I'm going to do yep. that. Um, yeah, so not only am I going alternate form, uh, I, want, I want to throw monster knowledge at Bird, what's the other one? The other one's nameplate isn't showing up. We see it's HP, but not it's nameplate. Um, Birdorn and Zerle. Right. Zerle's nameplate isn't showing, just so you know. Alright. I'm going to throw monster knowledge at uh, Zerle. There we are. Now we see it. 15. Okay, and I'm going to throw monster knowledge at Birdorn. Alright. You know that the Zerle is weak to bludgeoning damage. 
Did anybody and, know, to, know that the destroyer counts as both slashing and bludgeoning damage? And the bird dumb, bird dorn, I should say, is weak to lightning damage. <laughs> Do I still have my key from the last battle? No, key resets every battle. No! Damn it. Alright. Because you have to pick up your geograph. Uh, damn it. Alright, geograph's deployed, by the way. Mm-hmm. So, for the purpose of this, I am I'm using the I'm I'm using the um the same in the same initiative setup. Unless you guys want to re-roll, um, you're missing uh the <clears throat> tokens for Garu and Isabel. Yep. Um. Uh, Maybe you put them on a different layer. <laughs> Yes, it did. I was it. I was in GM layer, and I and I'd for, I'd forgotten to set that up. All right. But so Garu, what do you what do you have planned? Mm. Let's start with giant arms, because I'm already in, I was in beast form going into this. Right, so, starting with the birdum. Yep. All right. Birdum with giant arms. Make sure to give yourself plus twelve um, strength. Plus twelve. I was already in beast form, so plus twenty. Four. And I'm going to... I feel like throwing a bitch. Alright. That's a huge bitch. Um, left side or right side? I'm going to take that mace and take it for a whirl. Alright. So... Still, still we, need to know which one. Left side. We... I mean, uh, my left, his right. Mm -hmm. So left side. So I'm, I'm gonna grab it by the chain and see if I can see how much see how it feels like getting hit in the face by its own weapon. All right. So the left side took 11 damage. Unfortunately, I can't show it on that on the bars thing because of what I said earlier. So what's your second attack? And from there, I feel like kicking. All right. And I'm gonna I'm gonna allow that to hit. So roll damage. So, so I that's think it's, a, it that is a total one. of tw between both of your attacks. That's a total of twenty-eight damage. So one side is already crippled, nearly. Mm-hmm. So Azrael, you are up. All right. All well, right. Well, surging offense, surging offense obviously. That's, obviously. A that's it again. Mm-hmm. So Although, since you now know, since you now know both of their weaknesses. Um may I make may I make a suggestion instead instead for actually no you might No, have never been, mind. You, you, you get going where I are. Where, you might already be thinking what I'm already planning on doing. Yeah. So go go ahead. <laughs> Cuz yeah, I I, yeah, I, I remember I and I was double checking I was like, "Wait, don't I have, something, I have for something for that?" I do. I do. So you don't so, like you don't lightning, like, lightning, you don't like uh, lightning, uh, attacks, do lightning attacks, do you? Well, allow me to well, set the spark for, for you. All right, roll magic power. Oh come on! Oh, come on! Reroll. Wah. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. Wah wah. Seventeen. 17. 
I was going to say, if you got another snake eyes, I would require a sands. <laughs> All right, roll power zero. All right. All right. You know I, I'd be right on that one, Shades. No, just straight power zero. Right, and then no crit and then value, no right? right? Mm-hmm. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! No, it still did three. No, it still no, did no. It says zero it says damage. Zero, damage. <laughs> zero, zero lightning damage, so that's still plus three points of lightning damage. So... You killed you killed the left side. Better than nothing, I guess. Better than nothing, I guess. <laughs> now kill the right side. And now for your loam puppets. Yeah. Yep. He said now kill the right side. <laughs> well, obviously that's, well, obviously that's attacking, where I'm gonna be attacking, so yeah. So, yeah. Kinda smash. Kinda smash. Uh but the Zart the the Zart is the one that's uh but I can't but get I can't to him get until I get past the, the bird on. Or the bird horn. Or the bird horn. Man. So I gotta smash yeah, we can't, we, the bird. We can't really move into the rear guard without uh, accru accruing a, um, an attack against us. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Alright, so, All right, roll, so first roll, roll first roll. Twelve. Twelve. Hit. Eleven. Eleven. Damage. Damage. All right, so that is seven damage against its defense. All right, and for the right, other one. For the other one. Oh, cut the fuck oh, on! Cut the fuck on! I'm counting that as uh, I'm mulliganing. Reroll. That's better. 14. That's better. Roll Fourteen damage. rolling damage. Nine. Nine. So five. Mm hmm. All right. Isabeau, you are up. Now, these things are... Magitech? Or, the, like, robotic? Type They're things? robotic, yeah. Yep. Alright, then let's go with an electrical bullet. Only the Birdorn has a weakness of lightning. Mm -hmm. Zerle had a weakness of bludgeoning. Okay, then we'll do the uh, lightning on the Birdorn. Alright. Don't! Talk about extremes. Yep. Roll damage. So roll. I believe it's power twenty. And there we go. Thirteen. Which is. Eleven plus three. So. Or not eleven plus three, um, nine plus three, so twelve. Okay, so that's so it's at eight. Mm -hmm. And Dax, you are up. All right, I gotta make this quick. Uh. uh... First and foremost, I'm going to use Paralyzed Mist on the Zerle right here. I'm going to be using one of my green A's. All right, so Paralyzed Mist. So he gets, so he has minus one to his evasion. All right. And then I'm going to use a ice Ice Bolt on it. All right, roll magic power. Oh, that hits. It better. So, ro so next would be rolling debt. So roll damage. So that would be power. So that's. 
10 plus magic power. Yep. So damage. Nine damage total. All right, Alicia, you are up. Alrighty. I can't use my chi this time around, but I've got points saved up. In the meantime, uh, let's see here. Uh, I can make a movement roll, right? Or I can make a movement, right? Because I haven't done anything yeah, yet. If yeah, you well, if you if you move, you will not be able to cast magic or use ranged attacks. Ah, eh, shit. Earth. That's right. I forgot about that. And movements it. must be done before you take your major action. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, the majority of my uh, spells that I want to be able to use are uh, 10 meters. Um, are they that... area 1 or area 2? Area mm -hmm. 1. Which means you can shoot into the front, you just can't shoot into the back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is where I want to shoot. You can all you can always take out the bur the bird on. That's fair. Alrighty, uh, I'm going to use one of my points of heavenly chi then to do descending thunder. At least I think that was heavenly chi. Yes, heavenly chi is for descending thunder. Mm-hmm. All right, so that is, let me get to it. Although that's only going to be two, da that's only going to be two damage. I thought it was four it's, damage. It's... If you had more chi. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, if you're going to be doing damage, you'd be better, you'd be better served using nature magic at this stage. Yeah, sure. Don't mind me, I'm just a little eh right now. No worries. Don't forget that you can always uh, do what you, you've been doing and empower Garu and Arya as well. That's true. Which I will do first. So, Garu, Arya, both of you have Wing Flyer. Uh, Arya, you have uh, aspect of the uh, giant crab. Yup. So it's minus fun shit, 16. Fun shit. And do, 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 do. I'm going to use freezing breath on the uh, bird horn. So let me roll magic power. That's mm -hmm. not the window I needed to use. Thank you. 18. All right. And that's against the Birdorn? Yes. All right. That hits. So roll power 20. Plus magic power. Mm -hmm. Already on it. 17. It's dead, Jim. Yep. Which just leaves the Zerle. Yes. Uh, Arya is going to make the movement into the back row. Mm -hmm. Because now Arya, with her giant fuck-off sword, is going to hit this thing as hard as fucking possible. Twice! Yep. And 15 hits. And that is a total of... 
Well, it was going to be 14 damage, but since it's bludgeoning, it is 17. Yeah. <laughs> so. Dead. Okay. So, uh, for for this final strike, because I'm already um, I'm already being as ham as possible. We're invoking another uh, Slayer's reference. Oh Jesus! Yep. Akumu no no hitokake yo, sora no imashime toki hana tareshi, koreru kuroki utsuro no yaiba yo, waga chikara waga mi no mi to narite, tomo ni horobi no michi o ayuman. Kami-kami no tamashi suru mo uchikudaki Ragna Blade! And smash the giant thing in half with my giant fuck-off sword of iron and steel. And a slab too but, rough. Yep. So. That means loot. Yep. Root. Two D6. I figured Neff would like two uh, Slayer's references in in one go. All right. Indeed. I, I, hope, is I six. fucking love that anime. I hope that gets clipped. So you managed to find some Magitek components. Coops, give yourself one black and a black and white A card, and a black B card. All I had to say to the Slayer's reference. Hey, John, do you hear TJ squealing for some reason? <laughs> I, I'm surprised you can hear him all the way over in KC. It's TJ. I mean, he's not wrong. I, mean, he's not wrong. I know. Also, keep in mind, I've been following TJ longer than, longer than John, so I think I've gotten used to hearing him. Yep. So, roll again. Nine. Very nice. And you managed to find um, some crude Magitek components. So another black and white A, car A card for you, Coops. And demon resistant material. So give yourself a gold and black B card. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. So, Mamma Mia. For those who want to inspect the Magitek device, the this that would be a um it, that would be insight, which means that would be knowledge. Ooh, I'll try that. Oh, or it could be me using my analyze spell, which actually does analyzing of Magitek. All right, so knowledge. Knowledge. Mm -hmm. 16. 16. 15. Right. 10. So this is a ma this is a magic reactor. It is inactive, though it can be reactivated. Arya just switches it on. Mm -hmm. Guard takes a couple giant steps back. Keep in mind it's probably been deactivated deactivate it for who knows how long. We don't know if it's still stable. Or for what reason it was turned off in the first place. Oh, it but... is... It is perfectly fine to, re to reactivate. And... That, pr with that, after a, after a bit of traveling, you guys head back to the entrance, and head back to the head back to the surface, at the institute. After in after informing after informing them of your of of what of what happened, you get you guys and you guys end up, um. End up get end up getting sufficient amounts of amounts of info for the place, especially since there's intact Magitek down there. Um, so you are able you're able to get the base amount and what and the um, bonus money. So 
So everybody's going to get 2,500 yep, gamble each. And as far as the, as far as the um, rest that you got from all the loot, after turning that into various stores, and let's see, that's divided by six. So each of you gets an additional 280. You didn't get a lot of good loot, but we got some. Mm -hmm. All right, so that the big was, payoff uh, was the uh, 280 plus 2,500. 2, yep, 2,500 each just for completing the mission and finding extra stuff. <clears throat> and then another 280, you said, or 40? 280 or 240? 280. Mm. Okay, so. That's 2780. Yep. Uh, I know, I'm just. Okay, well, that's fun. And then, of course, our then normal... There's, there's one other thing, and that is... The sword shards. Your, yep. So, counting the counting the four and, and some... Counting the five and the others you found, roll 8d6. Okay. Do. Doing so now. So, you all gain 28 reputation... Which puts us at a uh, hundred one hundred and twenty two. So let let me check let me check on the one hundred and twenty two you said, so yep. Yep. you guys are you guys are no longer rapiers, you are at the you are at the rank of broadsword. So in the eyes of in the eyes of the public, you would be considered a fully fledged adventurer. I told you our names would get better. I never doubted it. I never doubted it for a minute. And that is go that is going to that is going to wrap things up for this week. We will. Be, be we will be back here in a cup in a couple weeks. Well, I, I say back here the clo as far as the cloister goes. We will be, but we do have something else planned for to, for to, um, next Saturday. So keep an eye, so keep an eye out for that. But until then, on behalf of the good brothers present and not present. My name is Mildra. I am your gaming monk. Stay fucking frosty, everybody.